Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Sovereign Citizen Watch. How is everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. That's what day of the week it is. I knew that off the top of my head for sure. I'm a competent adult. How's it going everyone? Good, I hope. Let's see what we missed on Twitch. Amber Pretzels, thanks for 25 months, says, Hi, it is birthday. I'm trying to have a better one, so please let the Sov sits be funny. I'll make sure they're funny today. I'll cast my magic spell and do my best. Happy birthday, by the way. Briar Rose, with 40 months, says, Happy Wednesday, Hannah. I've been really depressed this past week, but I'm finally seeing some good coming my way. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, standard display name with 120 bits. Thank you very much. Over on YouTube, there's literally no one in the chat on YouTube. Wait, did I pull the wrong chat? Give me a sec. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Maybe I did that. Or maybe no one wants to watch me on YouTube. Or I forgot to make the video public. One of those three things. Oh, there they are. They're there. We're good. Hello, Nemesaur Kolboff. And alt fact, like the stream if you can, I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let me adjust the fan, I'm a little warm. I've decided, chat, today I'm going to share with you a, a lovely cheese plate that I've made. One second, gotta change something. Did I get a chance to get the music? I haven't downloaded it yet, um, but I did open the email and... Um, like, accept it and everything. So thank you very much again for that. Much appreciated. So here's my 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 goddamn cheese. It doesn't look pr good, but it tastes delicious. There's my goat gouda. It's delicious. And here is just some, just some Parmesan Reggiano. It's basic, but it's cheese. You don't need more than that. Midnight, thanks for 37 months, says, wow, 37 years. That's almost a year. <laughs> I don't know if your math checks out on that, but I'll say yes. I'll say yes. Thank you. 83% to level one in a hype train. Mm. So let's see, what are we going to watch first? Um, today I pulled out some videos that are a little different. There are some traffic stops and stuff we can look at. But by and large, I found a channel that does mostly just Sovereign Citizen conspiracy stuff. Like they just talk about the theory of Sovereign Citizenry. So I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at that today. Um, not saying we won't do any other stuff, just I have a lot of it pulled up. So let's give it a look, shall we? Did you know that when this country was founded, there was no income tax? And that pro I did know that. I did know that. Did you know that the governmental services and entire function of the government back then was very different than it is today? Thomas Jefferson would be very upset. Property was owned by the individual without any capability of the government to take it away. Eminent domain was in the Constitution. I don't think that's an amendment. I think that's originally in there. Ferris Hex, thanks for gifting five tier one subs. Getting us over level one. Thank you very much. No, we're not doing bingo. Or did you know that the only way to commit a crime was by physically harming another man or woman or their property? Physically harming? I don't know about that one. The idea that there weren't fraud-related crimes back in the day is pretty absurd. I mean, to be honest, back then, you know what they considered property? People. And that the highest authority figure anywhere in the country was the local county sheriff? I don't think that's ever been true. Pretty sure that's a lie that the Posse Comitatus movement made up in order to justify racism. Racism. Here are my dill pickle pretzels, by the way. My Spiro brain enjoys those. Or that men and women had more authority than the federal government? Mm, no. Um, any Chili updates? Yes, Chili is incredibly into Atlas Shrugged. He's become an Ayn Rand fanboy, and he adamantly believes that he is a prime mover. Not joking. This is not a joke. I know I'm very specific with my jokes, this is not a joke. Chili has become an Ayn Rand fanboy in prison and is basically already thinking up a way to make Gulch Gulch real, which is pretty funny. So <laughs> I'm excited to see if anything comes of that. Or how about the fact that we have two American flags, one for wartime and one for peacetime? I don't know where they get this claim. 
they do the 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 flag but the stars and the you know uh, field that it's in are reversed colors don't know where they get that I think it was a David hyphen colon Win Miller thing at the very least Russell J Gould does it too so you see, many people realize there's something fundamentally off in our country, but nobody can seem to put their finger on exactly what it is. Where's this flag used? I've only ever seen sovereign citizens use it. I think it's something that one of them made up and the rest of them just started believing it. Um, dill pickle chips are great. Have you tried the ketchup ones? I haven't. Sounds good. Hbaird says, Atlas Shrugged was about how awesome industrialists are. What industry is Chile a captain of? Annoying people on YouTube. Dolly Aviani, thanks for 22 months. Getting us over whatever level of the hype train we were on. Why are things so much... You get it, Jamie Lynn. You get it. ...different than the founding structure of this country. 6% to level 3. Fenekagami says, Chili's an Ayn Rand fan. Shocked Pikachu face. Her stupid great man theory was basically tailor-made for sovereign citizens and other conspiracy theorists. Oh, yeah. Why does government have so much power? And how did we get here? Well, we're going to shine the light on ex Rose American history book at you. Exact schemes and deceptions that certain power elite high up in global- I dare say these federalists sure have bolstered a lot of support. Are the Democratic Republicans informed? Corporations and governments around the world have been using over the last 160 years to pull- we don't have all dressed chips usually. You can find them in international sections sometimes. I've had them. They're delicious. All dressed chips are really good, but they're not usually where I live, no. Pull the wool over the eyes of the men and women of the United States and every other country. Little by little, these power elite have secretly and unlawfully changed the roles of government. And secretly, over the course of over 200 years, federal power creep has taken hold. Was it secret, or was it just the slow and steady change of government over time? It's not evil. You don't have to like it, but it wasn't an evil plan. It's just historical momentum. And the roles of men and women living in this country in order to take the power away from us and give it to themselves. They have used the legal system to confuse Americans into thinking that government has more power over the people, when in reality, it's the opposite is true. Men and women have power over the government. Sure, but the government as a collective has more power than individuals in society. Citizens as a whole, society as a whole, have more power than the government because the government is made up of people. But individuals do not stand up to the crowd in that way because that's how government works. You see, all the power in this country is derived from the individual men and women living you never in it. read an Ayn Rand book? Wouldn't recommend it. Not worth the memes. <laughs> Through mutual agreement, the men and women created the federal government to provide 18 services. Because these services were needed to be provided countrywide, which would have been handled more efficiently and more effectively at a federal entity... At um... The Articles of Confederation would like to talk to you. We tried that. Didn't work well. That's why they did the Constitution. Jamie Lynn says, I make refrigerated pickles. Those are amazing. It really satisfies that craving for saltiness and vinegar. No kidding. As opposed to... For those that don't know, Spiro, which is an anti-androgen, I'm on. A lot of trans women are on. Um, makes you crave salt. Makes you crave salt a lot. Now, the progesterone, that makes you crave other things, but that's a different story. Um, Profane Priestess says, I mean, the government has become more authoritarian over time, but you fix that through new, more decentralized forms of government, not whatever this is. But they changed the flag color! Don't they have power now? To each state trying to accomplish them individually. This federal government would represent all of the 13 states collectively and only be able to represent the states through the specified 18 powers delegated to them by the states. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure he's talking about the Articles of Confederation. Silly. H. Baird says, fun fact about Atlas Shrugged. Again, it's about how on... Excuse me. A minute left on the hype train. Again, it's about how entrepreneurs are the most important people in society, and the government only fouls things up. The POV character is the head of a railroad, John Galt. Um... 
Well, which she runs because her family started it, Natch. There has only ever been one rail route, not company, route in the United States history that made money without federal subsidies. Incredible. Just like a parent allowing a child to mow the lawn or clean the dishes, but at the same time, not allowing them to drive the car or use the weapons in the safe. So how is it that our employee, the government, now tells us, the employer, what to do? It's the inability to answer that question due to altered education that gives government its perceived power. Altered education? He's gonna claim that public school education lies to you about how much power the government has? Thank you for the hype train, everyone. Over the last 160 years, these corrupt elite have slowly transitioned us from our original form of government over to a fraudulent form of government. Oh my god, they took our reverse funnel system and made it a pyramid, those, those, those sluts none of us would notice. The only way these corrupt power elite can keep doing what they are doing is to keep Americans in the dark and not let us know the truth. Their power depends on us not knowing. Now, to be fair, most of the federal employees are unaware of this corruption. It's only the powerful few at the top that keep this system in place through deception. I know it seems daunting to go up against the big bad government, and even those that have the courage to do so don't usually know where to start. That's why we've resurrected the state's assemblies in all 50 states. The state oh, are you running little fake governments? That's kind of cute. Its assemblies are the foundation of the original structure of this country's governing body, which is made up of the men and women of the land in this country. These assemblies were mop. Are you familiar with state legislatures and who they're comprised of? Bald, as we were unknowingly transitioned from our original form of government to a fraudulent form of government. Now you can tell it's fraudulent because I don't like it. Now that we have resurrected the assemblies, we can provide you with the non-violent approach and the tools needed to reverse these unlawful actions that were taken against you so you can reclaim your natural rights and your sovereignty. But in order to correct the unlawful changes, we must first learn the schemes and deceptions used to get away with this unlawful activity. The state's assemblies will educate you how the legal system and seemingly harmless documents are used to fraudulently confuse and trick Americans into gradually giving up their freedoms and their liberty. We will open your eyes to exactly what fraud has been committed and also provide you with the means to easily reverse these fraudulent actions against you so that you may live on this land as truly free men and women with the ability to self-govern as our founders- Do I have to use that flag? Because again, it is but ugly. Ended. It's time we learn just how much has been stolen from us, how it's been done, and how we take back what's lawfully and rightfully ours. We spend a lot of time learning and complaining about all the things wrong with our government. That just makes us feel even more frustrated and hopeless. By transitioning back to your natural rights mm, and sovereignty, grind. you can spend that energy taking action and contributing towards the change that we all want and need. Since I've joined my state's assembly- Sorry for anyone, I'm almost done with the cheese for anyone who's very grossed out by people eating on stream. I just really had a hankering. I have formally notified our corrupt government institutions of my sovereignty and natural rights. I am no longer held accountable to arbitrary statutes and codes masquerading as laws. Oh, you just think you get to say that. Good luck. Best demon, thanks for 20 stream streak. Like the mandate to wear a mask or even something like jaywalking. I'm no longer required to pay income taxes, state or federal. I own my property outright with no requirement to pay property taxes and no capability of the government to take my property away. I no longer need to register my vehicle each year or need a license to use my vehicle to travel on the roadways. I am now confident in my power over Uncle Sam since <laughs> I am his employer. And I now tell the federal government what they can and cannot do, and I hold them accountable to the Constitution that restricts their power. The corrupt power- How do you have a discussion about power with someone like this? How do you explain, like... Okay, I understand that you disagree with this thing a lot. I understand that you vehemently, for one reason or another, maybe some reasons legitimate, other reasons not legitimate or whatever. Why in the world... 
do you think that you just get to unilaterally decide how the government works? Like, I get if you have a bunch of people and it was the majority of people or even a large plurality, it's you and like 10 other guys. What do you think you're doing here? We continue their effort to take more and more of our rights and- Hi, Karen. I'm a Karen? Liberties. That's pretty good. Our founding fathers pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor to create this republic so that we could live as free men and women. And it's our duty as Americans to- What is that flag? This guy thinks that it's the actual flag of the United States because he's into conspiracy theories. Protect that republic. As JFK and others have said, bad men need nothing more to compass their ends than for good men to stand by- As JFK once said, do you see that glint in the wind? And do nothing. You see the- That was too much. Truth is on our side. Sorry, I'm on a cheese high. The founding documents are on our side and the numbers are on our side. So instead of hoping for a politician to fix things, let's take action. So I ask you, during this time when these bad men- You know he's legit because of the kind of unsteady snare drum in the background? You're not a real government unless you have someone just off screen playing a snare drum. Need nothing more than for you to stand by and do nothing. What will you do? <laughs> Grumbles an anarchist. These people give us a bad name. Don't get- Please also, I feel bad now talking about like how I'm like, I think states should be a thing because I don't want you to judge me. <laughs> so please don't judge- Don't assume I'm judging you when I judge these people because I know there's a difference and that your beliefs are thought out and theirs are not. And remember, there's only one organization with the lawful and legal standing to reclaim America for Americans, and that's the American States Assembly. We must support it like our lives depend upon it, because they do. Everyone wants to save the world. They just have different things they think will do it. <laughs> and that guy's real wrong, so that's a shame. Thanks, Fallout. All right. What's up with... Oh, the chair guy. The chair guy was wild. I, I watched some of this earlier. This is like a sovereign citizen group that's also into QAnon. And it's pretty great. Let me... I gotta find it. Hmm. Goats make good-ass cheese. Tangy. DM Trey says... <clears throat> so... Uh, RICO laws had to be written because mob bosses made sure they were nowhere near the scene of the crimes. Why would they fall in this guy's system or lack thereof? That's a good question. I don't think they've thought of complex legal situations like that. Amber Pretzel says, Okay, cheeseburger McLawless. Let's tell... <laughs> tell me what happens when everyone's going to be in charge of their own rights. Who's going to regulate what they do? What if Bob up the street thinks he has the right to shoot just because he had a gun? What if Janet decides you don't need to be vaccinated, but you also believe they shouldn't be able to do that it's against your rights to be alive? There's a reason we have government. Or at the very least, there's a reason that we have mechanisms for coming to some sort of general consensus in society about what's allowed and not. I did finish watching Fallout. Enjoyed it a lot. For anyone who heard that they retconned New Vegas, by the way, they didn't. That was a rumor that was being spread. They did not retcon New Vegas. They have confirmed at this point New Vegas happened. Without spoiling too much. New Vegas happened. They did not retcon that, if you heard that. Hmm. There it is. Oh. So this is an interesting mix of sob sit and QAnon stuff. Folks, you're not going to believe this, but we nice chair. have David Strait in the house, and we got Chief uh, Marshall Meekum in the house as well. So David Strait, you guys know him. He's a, a state national intelligence officer, presidential task force agent, et cetera. Uh, Chief Marshall Meekum, uh, state national, uh, basically. of New Vegas did they go with? The, um, they actually didn't, haven't said, but it whatever New Vegas happened, happened rates under the unincorporated what i want to happen because i think would be the most interesting for the show is there to be different rumors about what happened at the battle but no one's really clear and then you're not sure what's going to happen in season two and then they're just like 
oh, why would you believe those? This is, I'm not a writer, so don't listen to this. But anyway, it would end with House, Mr. House having been the canon ending and him being like, the house always wins. Haha. -ha. I'm a bad writer, but uh, I would like Mr. House to be there, so. Personally, I go with the NCR ending because I'm a statist bitch. <laughs> USA State Federation formed in September of 1776. The credentials, obviously, we could probably sit here for 20 minutes going through your credentials alone. Gentlemen, we won't do that because we got it. And I do. If I could pick the followers of the apocalypse, I would. I would talk to Trey about this sometime in the last week. If I could pick the followers, I would, but they're not someone I can choose. So hour. We're going to try to keep this under an hour. Uh, first question, the people in our chat room want to know. I know the actor who voiced House died a few years ago, but I think they already recast him in Fallout. So. We're now approaching like 24,000 strong. Uh, between all the platforms, we're, we're approaching like 50,000. Uh, the first question they want to know, have you actually met with JFK Jr.? A question we've all been asking ourselves. You know nobody's supposed to say yes or no to that, right? <laughs> wow. Weasel words. At what point do all the conspiracies mix and become a ball of panic, thought, and anxiety? I think that's already a thing. It's called Mike Lindell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the number one question. Please ask him to confirm <laughs> that he's been with JF. I thought that was him in the show. I wanted to make sure, though. Again, I'm trying not to spoil the Fallout show, so I don't want to say too much. K Jr. Yeah, yeah, I figured that's what people want to know. Uh, but uh, yeah, you, you're not supposed to answer yes or no to that yet. So we're just going to have to wait and see? You are. Okay, well, well I'll, I'll take that as an answer. That's a good answer. Is are, it a are you... good answer? It's an answer. It's more of an, of, it's kind of a non-answer. It's avoiding the question, isn't it? part of the QFS team and if you are in what capacity? No, I'm not. QFS real. stands for Quantum Financial System, which is um, basically these right wingers idea of communism. They want communism, but they can't call it communism because that's evil. So they call it a quantum financial system. Really part of the QFS team. I, uh, I just have a, a tremendous amount of contacts and and uh, high high level in banking and out outside of country and uh, got a know, high level in banking. See, banking was my dump stat. With a put it all in charisma. The royal families and various things. I have a lot of contacts. Interesting. So. Okay. And uh, do you have a time frame, but the, your contacts, are they giving you any time frame as to when the QFS will be well on its way? I know there's already some anomalies in play. I've had people call me and say, hey, uh, two of my friends has got their mortgage forgiven. What do you mean they got their mortgage forgiven? I can't even tell if we're on the page of like grifter. The guy on the bottom feels like a grifter to me. This guy feels like a grifter, but also a true believer. And people might actually be calling him and lying to him just to fuck with him. But this guy, I'm feeling grifter. That answer on the JFK like junior question was absurd. Yeah, it's literally up and running. The did banks Cenk are actually all trained vote on for RFK Junior, or is he go? Did he say he's going to? That's fucking hilarious. They, uh, they what a waste! Have... What a disgusting waste! Have it there. The uh, all the bank. Tell... Imagine having like an actual audience, and then you do shit like that. I don't understand that. Lawyers <laughs> have been trained on the QFS. They've all got it on their system at your local bank branch right now. So it's already up and running. Interesting. Interesting. You know, it's funny you say that. Somebody just sent me today, uh, this gentleman, Tommy Schaefer. So I'm going to give him some kudos. He actually sent me something from a gentleman who's very big on, on the Internet. Uh, he went to the bank and uh, basically was talking to the teller, but they're all listening in. So he had to be very careful. And he basically said, yes, it's happening in June. Definitely it's being rolled out. Uh, that was pretty exciting news that I just put in the room about maybe 20 minutes ago and people just went crazy. Um, are, are you familiar uh, with... Uh, 
a lot of your bank have already rolled. So, I'm sorry. Guess that say that again. A lot of your big major banks already have rolled it out. I mean, your it, major it's... banks have already rolled out the quantum financial system, which they believe will erase all debt and everyone will be paid fairly. It's already there. So, that, no that, more usury. That's really not the issue. You know, everybody wants to know when the Nassar and Jassar is going to happen. Uh, they want to know when we're going to get to our gold backed currency when the stock market crashes when the dollar changes when the global currency resets going to happen of course they're all gold bugs that's what the, everybody's waiting for or everybody wants to know and uh right now the dominoes are falling they're they're being oh. put into place um it, it, it it's all ready to happen virtually overnight but the people aren't ready the people aren't ready. we need more people standing up no. Yeah, that, I We're totally agree with you on that. I totally agree. Yeah. 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 Chief yeah. Marshall, you if you, yeah, Chief we'll Marshall, if you want to chime in on any of the uh, questions, uh, please, by all means, do so as well. Thank you. No problem. I, uh, I just learned from this guy. It's nothing but a steady thing to learn from him. Well, you know, did you know, David, that we actually have you as part of our quantum financial systems manual? You have a manual? Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I get thrown on a lot of those different things. I, you know, it, I look at it this way. It's never been about me anyway. It's about saving this nation, this country, waking the people up, get, getting the people involved, getting their status changed so that they're not 14th Amendment citizens, uh, which was never ratified in the first place you know i've got the congressional record showing it was never ratified. he thinks the 14th amendment was never ratified is he talking about a different attempted 14th amendment that didn't get ratified while ignoring the actual ratified 14th amendment and here we've been led to believe we're 14th amendment u.s citizens when we're not we're state nationals we're free and independent people we're we're sovereign we're not sovereign citizens that's an oxymoron when will they get that? Yes, it's an oxymoron. That's funny. And also, we didn't come up with that term. Sovereign citizens did. That's uh, that's people to, who are making a claim to something that they haven't done the paperwork to claim. You know, they're, oh, they're claiming to be a the king right when they're not a king. That's why they're not work. even a squire or a knight yet, you know, and uh, they're making that claim. Uh, people who are, are. What's the other 14th Amendment? I want to say something about not allowing foreign people with foreign granted titles the ability to hold office in the United States. I don't remember, though. That might be a Sovereign. different one. There are a lot of failed amendments that have, you know, come and gone. Uh, have taken the steps necessary uh to to change their status establish their standing their jurisdiction they've taken dominion of their uh, of the law the land the air and the water and everything they're in was and, that already in the constitution maybe i'm thinking of something else then and they know i know there's one that like was almost a, an amendment that sovereign citizens get interested in and confuse it for the real one oh how to subdue it use it control it learn from it and uh, when you do that, that's when you're true. Why do they wear their hats indoors? I think this is like an older man thing, like middle-aged and up of a certain generation. Like, like younger boomers and Gen X, very into wearing hats. I don't know if it's an insecurity thing. I used to do this too. And like, I like wearing hats now for fun. You guys know I have all the hats and stuff. But like, if you go back and look before I transitioned, I was very uncomfortable with myself. And instead of focusing on my actual body and how I looked, I'd wear a hat that I liked. And that would be a way that I was... But I'm trans and was in the closet. And I don't think these people are. So I don't know what their deal is. I'm just projecting my own former insecurities onto them. But I don't know. You see it a lot, don't you? Like guys of this age always wearing a hat. Whatever. Really free. So. Interesting. Absolutely. You don't trust anyone who owns a chair like that. I think that that's fair. 
It might be over the top, but I get it. I totally agree with you. Are you familiar with something called the lobster wallet in the digital asset realm? The 14th Amendment was adopted in 1868, but because of weirdness of ratification, it wasn't fully ratified until 2003 by Ohio and New Jersey, the last states to do so. Ohio. Sure. You are. Cool. You Marcel doesn't have a chair like that. He's a judge. He's fucked. Uh, when, when, when did you, when were you aware of the lobster and uh, how did you hear about it? They'll just say things in this video as if you're supposed to know what it means. I don't know what the lobster is. I don't know about the lobster. Oh, I've been aware of it for several years. Uh, uh, like most people, I learned of it online, uh, but I've been aware of it for a long time. Lobsters, uh, an interesting wallet wallet system xrp is a, a really good proposed but failed 13th amendment that would forbid citizens from receiving foreign titles like knighthoods or pensions the one that they sometimes fixate on okay so it wasn't about holding positions in government it was just banning citizens from having foreign titles in general okay good uh currency but Anything, anything that's backed by heavy metals or commodities uh, is going to do well uh, in the future. You guys hear Red uh, Lobster's going bankrupt? I'm like some cheddar biscuits. Uh, you know, it's gonna, it, it's gonna be a little volatile. They always are. One time, I, I was, this is years ago, um, got a bill at Red Lobster, and. Um, I was with my mom, and only half of the food got charged, and we just left. And that's probably where they're going bankrupt. That's on us. They go up and down uh, until they stabilize, and they're not going to stabilize until the economy and, and our political structure stabilizes, our country stabilizes. Does anyone go to Red Lobster? Not enough, apparently. And what stabilizes our structure is real currency backed by they are overpriced gold and silver it's not even good seafood it'd be one thing if it was like good seafood totally so, agree. just seafood applebee's and i know that's not an original joke it's not a joke it's an accurate assessment of the quality of the food it's seafood applebee's digital's just another it di digital's just an extension of that Totally, so, totally. You can make the biscuits yourself. Get a thing of Bisquick. You basically need Bisquick, water, and cheddar cheese. That's pretty much all you need to make them yourself. Totally agree. The, uh, the dollar, the euro, and the pound have to fall. And, the, the, and they're falling. And they have been falling for quite some time. The other world currencies are raising. Once they get close, then... We can have a reset. If you if they're not close, if they're too far apart, then the reset is too dramatic. Okay, I'm taking a break from these guys for a while because oh boy, they're a lot. Oh, uh, what's another thing we can watch in the meantime? Oh, this is three minutes. Hello, everyone. I am back from a massive suspension that TikTok gave me. I have now had ten videos removed from sharing the truth. But I have some very the true Alice's demon seems very cheerful. I know, right? Yeah. A flood of information is coming, as some of you have already seen the start of this. All truth will be exposed about COVID nineteen and the vaccine. Of course, he's an anti vaxxer. Sorry, that music's gonna get picked up by YouTube, and it's gonna be a pain in the ass. What's the difference between a wartime and a peacetime flag? I've, I saw a couple of speak one would be used in wartime, and one would be used in peacetime. The U.S. doesn't have that. The U.S. just has one flag. I don't know if there are current states that have a wartime versus a peacetime flag. Because there's people... The U.S. just has the one that I'm aware of. ...getting their sovereignty back around the world. What's the difference? The difference is um, the wartime flag is the flag that everybody flies on the 4th of July and the holidays and all that thing like that. No one knew there was a peacetime flag. The peacetime flag has been out since the beginning of time since oh well it certainly seems like not because it's a bad design like i'm not like a vexologist 
But, like, I can look at the flag and be like, that's an ugly flag, right? No one in their right mind would design it to look like that. Avery Edison, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome raiders. I'm Hannah. I'm a leftist variety streamer. I cover all sorts of stuff. Um, my favorite topic to cover, though, is conspiracy theories. I don't believe conspiracy theories. Um, I just find the topic interesting and the people who believe them and why. So today we're looking at sovereign citizens and the interesting conspiracies they believe. So uh, if you like what you see, give me a follow. If not, um, follow anyway. <laughs> Make sure you check out Avery Edison here on Twitch. Hope you had a good stream. It's uh, the United States, you know, and the United States of America. Um, and it used to fly on all of the buildings back in the 30s and 40s. And no, 50s. it didn't. Literally, we have photographs from the 30s and the 40s. Never once have I seen that flag outside of the context of a sovereign citizen video. Okay. Then the corporations came in. All right. Did you all know that there were no private corporations in the United States until the 1940s? So the flags, uh, they switched because of, you know, World War I, World War II. They had the wartime flags and everybody was rah-rah America, which is a great thing to do. But they never changed the flag back to peacetime flag. Why? Because they were always in a war. And everybody came, became accustomed to the flag that's flying on every flagpole and house now. That's actually the wartime flag. The, the United States hasn't actually declared war, I think, since World War II. The civil flag is the stripes. Just to be clear, in the legal sense, the United States hasn't been at war, if that's what you're talking about. We have been. But legally, we haven't. Are the other way. We're at peacetime. And the flag now that has the gold... No, they're not confused about it hanging vertically. It's a completely different fake flag that they've either found or come up with. I don't know who came up with this one. Fringe, it's the United States has been captured. The oh. gold fringe. And that means maritime flag. That's actually a good point. I hadn't even thought about this. They're saying that this was the original flag of the United States. Of course it wasn't. There weren't this many states. There's 50 fucking stars on the flag. <laughs> they were just planning ahead. They knew. <laughs> um. Well, thank you very much, Rageology. I'll make sure to return the favor uh, in the future. Remind me, and I'll do my best to raid Avery. So thank you very much. Been out since the Pope America and this which means it's run by the Pope and the Queen the British territorial government the Pope and the Queen I feel like the British Royals and the Pope had a bit of a split a while back if you'll remember it was over the King wanting to divorce his wife the Church of England started you know that whole thing you think that the crown is working with the Pope and they're in charge of the United States. Great. Now, um, what's the difference between land and soil jurisdiction and admiralty law? Because that there's a lot of talk about the Queen, the Pope, America, and in the standard mind of American. Those video are... was before Queen Elizabeth died, by the way. He doesn't think she's still... Well, I guess I don't know he doesn't think she's still alive, but this video is not about that. She was alive at the time he filmed this. Separate. Right. The maritime law is run by the queen, all water, in, inland waterways, oceans, and whatever. So she's, now that she's dead, did they win? Did the sovereign citizens win? Do they get to do whatever they want now? Supp supposed to protect everybody that's on the high seas. That's maritime law. That's British territorial law. The land and the soil is the six inches, the soil is the six inches of the top part of the ground, and the land is beneath that so the land and soil is international and we belong on the land and soil and we are the owners the people we the people it's a little too close to blood and soil for my comfort are the owners of the land and soil um <clears throat> excuse me so anytime you're on the inland waterways you're under the rule of the queen we're allowed to go out boating and fishing and so on like that, but you have to observe maritime law when you're out there in your boat or whatever you're doing on the waterways. They have control of that. 
now, okay, I've I've heard that there's different constitutions. There are. Um, and and I mean, the average Joe like me, three weeks ago, I thought we had one constitution, and I thought that that was being just dissolved because all of the rights that I thought were guaranteed to me were gone. What what are the what are three different constitutions? Okay, the three he different. Thinks there's three. It's like the Trinity. Constitutions. You you actually know what the Constitution is? A lot of people don't know that there are three. Okay, they're con. Oh my God! Is he gonna like try and? S I'm trying to even imagine. I haven't seen this video. What is he gonna say? The three constitutions are. Is he gonna say it's like? Is he gonna say the Declaration of Independence, the Articles of Confederation, and the Constitution as if they're all legal documents that still hold weight? as opposed to just the Constitution. The Declaration was just that, a declaration, and the Articles ended up not working out, so they scrapped them and did the Constitution. I don't know. H. Beard says, The three Constitutions, Larry, Moe, and Joe Besser. <laughs> Contracts for the people to keep the... The Constitution, wisdom, courage, and power. That one's pretty good, too. Government. Land, air, sea. In line. That's why when Biden said, okay, there are contracts for the people to keep the government in line. That's why when Biden was running for president, ah, the constitution is just another piece of paper. Same thing with, you know, when Obama was in there. We what? don't need the constitution. It's just a useless piece of paper. Obama literally is a constitutional law student from Harvard. What? <laughs> he has a degree in constitutional law. What? You don't even have to like Obama, but like, holy shit, what are you talking about? Suck a dick. What are you talking about? Paper. They want to get rid of that because it holds them bound to what the people have the rights to be and to have. So there are three, the territorial, the municipal, and for us, we actually live under the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence is not a legal document in any way. It is an interesting and important piece of American history. It is not a legal document that gives anyone any rights. It is not that. It's literally just a letter they sent the Crown to be like, fuck you, we're independent. And the amendments. Obama is an accident, an actual constitutional law scholar. Yes, unlike Chile De Castro, who got his because some people on YouTube called him it years ago. And and the and the articles. So, the Constitution is a con. I need to get some sort of button that plugs in to my PC. That's like a big sturdy button that I can map to my pause button. That way on Sovereign Citizen Day is when I want to pause the video, I can aggressively hit the button with my gavel and that'll be fun for me. That's literally the only reason. It's selfish. I don't want to smash my keyboard. I'll do it gently. On track that we can keep the government in check. Correct. We live under, under the Declaration of Independence. Correct. Okay, what, who formed the other constitutions? The one with the, um, isn't the amendments as well as part of the Declaration of Independence? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, those are for, those are for we the people. The amendments are part of the constitution. The constitutions are to keep the- Are they calling Chile a constitutional law scholar as a joke? Like, is that the actual origin story? They weren't saying it as a joke. I think there were other sovereign citizens that called him that, and then he just started going with it. Because why not? Government and the corporations in check. So, but they're running amok. They're getting rid of them. They're they're making laws like all those statutes and everything that they say. Well, you know, you can't do over thirty five miles an hour, or literally just wants to speed. You just want to hit kids in your fucking car. Why are we doing this? Uh, you have to do this, or you have to do that, or you have to have license plates on your cars. It's all corporate law it's put out by the corporations to bilk as much money out of us as they possibly can benny kagami says literally trump has talked about throwing out the constitution if he's reelected. 
consistently conservative laws are declared unconstitutional um, more often than, li or consistently conservative laws are declared unconstitutional more often than liberal laws, but sure, the last two Democrat presidents are the ones trying to get rid of the Constitution. That's all those are. We, as an American national, you don't have to pay any attention to any of those laws. Disregarding the Tenth Amendment. Yeah, that one's annoying. For those who don't know, the Tenth Amendment is the one that states that um, any rights not given directly to the federal government within the Constitution, as spelled out, are reserved for the states or the citizens of those states. And they don't seem to like that, because, you know, that means states have power, and usually traffic laws are made by the state, and they don't like that. Bella Lugosi, <laughs> with the 15 months, says, This dude found the Konami code for real life. Because they're all statutes. They're it's not. being rich. Law. That was the end of that. Hmm. Let's maybe do... What was this one? Court thing? Court... Th oh, that's Judge Simpson. I usually like Judge Simpson. I'm gonna uh, uh, get something real quick and I'll be right back. Okay? Be good. Oh, real quick. Trey says, No, you should ask. Is where the Declaration of Independence says I can't murder. <laughs> Um, do you know which part Dillis filler? Let me know. I'll be right back. returned hello is real the participants are not actors mr weiss really all right group five it's just after the occult disney intro i'll try and look into it versus roderick smith judge simpson's usually pretty good about this opposite stuff morning your honor why is it bringing on behalf of group five? Your name, sir? How are you doing? Roger. Thank you. All right, where are we, Jim? The last time we were here, the last time we were here, you told us to go out in the hall and uh, make an arrangement. Uh, at that point in time, I agreed uh, Smith to waive the late fees, but not the month, the month fees. Uh, we have prepared a consent judgment at that point in time for $1,755, uh, which includes 217 in court costs, plus the That's probably Jan true, Genardi. January's rent and the month-to-month -month fee. He was to have paid it by January 29th, 2024. He hasn't paid it yet. So we're, we're, we're here right now in January. And I'd like the ability to add the uh, February's rent in late charge to that amount. Because January, uh, February's rent has not been paid either. Well, but you said you had the judgment, but you didn't enter that. I didn't sign that judgment. No, you, you didn't sign the judgment. I, I had submitted it to the court. Uh, the court set it up for hearing because they wanted to uh, put the consent on the record. I have the judgment here, uh, but the time for payment of that amount has expired. So I don't know what the court wanted to do. All right. Sir, what's your position? Yeah, yeah. So um, I agree with the, the terms uh, of what's old. 
but I would like to certify my rights to subrogation and settle the account. Oh no, it's opposite stuff. Uh, certify my rights under subrogation and settle the account. Would you draw my wish? Subrogation. I've heard that before. Do, do, do. Uh, the substitution of one person or group by another in respect to a debt or insurance claim accompanied by the transfer of any associate rights and duties. Got you. This probably has to do with their belief that there's a straw man entity that holds the actual um, consequences for your actions. What does that mean? Uh, in equity. Settle this account because this is has to do with equity. Oh boy. That's, that's doing non payment of rent. Yeah, still, it's equity. That's what we're dealing with. <clears throat> so I do have a right to subrogation. And I would like to okay. certify my rights to <laughs> subrogation and so, settle the <laughs> The immediate. Oh, God. I feel that. You have a right to subrogation, you're saying. Correct. Right. Explain that to me. Explain it to me. I mean, that's basically what it is. Your honor, it's, it's my right. No, explain what you think that means, because nothing you're saying means anything to other people, because you're speaking in, like, conspiratorial nonsense jargon that people don't understand because it's not a real thing. I mean, explain, I would assume explain what that, you that the think, would Explain what that, what you think that means. When a third party is... See, I could be a judge! <laughs> I just need to go to law school to learn all those pesky laws. That sounds easy. The bar exam's no big deal, right? ...things to take place or pay Okay, so who's the third party? Uh, basically, it's under my estate where they administrate the, the, the claim from. There what it is. is. State. My all caps name. <laughs> You're all caps. Yep, he's doing the straw man thing. He thinks that his estate is the one that action is being taken against instead of him, the individual, and he thinks he can basically use the straw man fake version of him that he thinks exists as a shield for his actual liability? Cap's name. Right. Okay. So, first of all, under what you just explained to me, there is no right of subrogation. So there's, there's, we can't settle the account under subrogation? You can settle not under subrogation. I don't, what you've explained is not subrogation. I mean, if you want me to actually give you the definition. Oh, I understand what subrogation means. I was oh, okay. checking whether you do, because what you're saying is not subrogation. So well, that's how I would like to settle the account, yeah. Well, settling the account and subrogation are two separate things. Okay. So if you want to settle the account, you need to pay it. Okay. It's as simple as that. All right, no problem. Okay, so Mr. Weiss, with February's rent, how much is owed? Uh, with February's rent, sticking to the deal that Mr. Smith and I made last week, uh, waiving the $225. The back rent he owes for not paying rent is still less than my normal monthly rent payment. Higher late fees, not including February's late fee, which is now due. Um, Mount owing would be thirty one uh, ninety three. Oh, okay, no, that's which, definitely more. Which includes the two seventeen in court costs. The initial number was like seventeen something. Ninety three. Could I get a statement of that as well? Well, I'll put it in, in the right. judgment. All right. And how much time does he have to get that paid? Ten days. You could allow me, Your Honor. Uh, I can give him up to the 20. Okay, just, Mr. Fine. Weiss, don't interrupt. Well, go ahead. What? Yeah, that's fine. To the, uh, the 20th. I'll, I'll give him to the 20th. That should be enough time. So you're not disputing the figure? No, sir. And 
the parties are agreeable and the court would agree to go to the 20th of February. Correct. Okay. All right. Uh, the court will bear with me. I will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate, I'm going to find that there's no tribal issue after hearing rather than a consent judgment. And I will enter that judgment. So you'll have till that day to get yeah. it paid. Okay. I'm surprised they even got him to agree to a consent agreement, to be honest. I wonder how they convinced him of that. Must be a good lawyer. I'm here at Speedway right now, and I think it is... It's 9.33, and there's a call, right over there. And he's just sitting there. After he just pulled out, pulled out, I was going down the road. And as soon as I damn went by, he's like freaking whipped it out of the Methodist Church parking lot. I don't know why the denomination of the church was important, but thank you for painting the vivid picture. Is it possible that you have either a tail light out, or no license plate, or an expired registration, or a warrant that would get pinged by your drivers or by your uh, license plate? Because they check plates. Just a thought. I go, guys. Whips out and comes speeding up on me. This is ironic, coming from a guy that is wearing what almost looks like a thin blue line shirt. <laughs> it's a it's it's light, not. red light. He wants to hold back some. He don't want to. He don't want to get up beside me like he's supposed to in traffic. So that was like kind of pissed me off. So yeah, I stopped a little short, and I said, "Yo, what the fuck's up? Got an issue." And I get this stare down. Get the stare down. Now he's just sitting over there, just waiting. I'm gonna leave here. Pull him over. License on. Your front window not work? No, it's not working. What, what was all that crap about, man? What? The harassment. What harassment? The harassment, man. What harassment? You got your license on me? Yeah, I got my license on me. All I was doing was driving by and y'all jumped the gun on me like for no reason, man. Well, the reason for the stop is improper passing. You got your license? Improper pass? I didn't pass anyone. Yeah, Whenever you moved Dude, in front of the other vehicle? When was that? Back there. Where? Right right you up. Dude, no, that you're wrong, man. I, oh, I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you on the side of the road. You okay. Know? All right. Cool. Not worth it. I just had it, man. Hold on a second. Okay. I'm sorry for being an ass, but I just. I don't... If a cop's an asshole, and they often are, arguing with them isn't gonna help. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Get a lawyer if you can. I don't like getting messed with, man. It's, there's no need for that. Mm. I just have my wallet, man. I just bought stuff at the store. Can I can I look around right here real quick? Is that cool? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Man, I I got yeah. Here it is. Sorry. P with goblins, cool. thanks for 38 months, much appreciated. By the way, um, if you do watch the channel on Twitch regularly and you're not subscribed, I don't normally just say this, but I will. It helps a lot if you subscribe to the channel. Um, the more subscribers I get, the closer I get to the Partner Plus thing again, which is cool, um, because there's two layers to that. Now I have the first layer, but there's a second layer. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to watch ads, subscribe. What? I got it right here, man. Right. 
I've had I've had a lot of bad history, man. And, I, and for just driving, I'm just going to see my girlfriend. I'm about to go offshore to go fishing for what I do for work. That's what I do for a living. I'm going to see her. She's got brain cancer. I'm trying to hang out with my old lady for a few minutes, and then I'm going to offshore fishing. No. Reopening five tier one subs. I appreciate it. No, and I don't give any. This is bullcrap, man. This isn't cool, man. I'm just asking you some Improper passing? Yes. Go run my stuff and be, come back. I'll be waiting for you. I'm not answering any more questions. What? The no. Down. I don't have to. I'm sorry. The no. Don't, 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 don't pull on my door handle. No, man. Are you? No. That was that was messed up what you did, man. I didn't do anything but ride by with headphones on, and you you just you. Oh, you're not supposed to ride with headphones. At least where I live, it's legal to drive around with headphones, and because it obscures your ability to hear if someone is coming at you, honking at you, you're not allowed to wear headphones while you're driving. Definitely cast me out, man. I'm trying to see what's going on. What's what's going on? Was it you that I saw in by pulling out of go I'm gas? A I'm a senior, so if you have, if you have anything, I said, sir. I said. You know why he pulled you over? Improper passing. I can't hear you, man. I'm not rolling it down. I'm not answering any more questions. Get that light out of my eyes, man. That's that's messed up, dude. I'm about to call your dispatch it's right now. It's not in your eyes. It is in my eyes. No, it's not in your eyes. Man, I have one right here too. That's so just as bright. You for improper passing. You pulled you over for improper passing. That's bullshit. Okay. Oh. And you know it. Okay. You know it. Okay. That's messed up, dude. Okay. That's totally messed up. Okay. I like that every time he's just like, okay, 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 okay. That's not cool, man. What's that, not cool? To pull improper passing? Okay. Well, uh, write me a ticket. Get out of my face, man. Come on, please. All right. It's not cool, man. Okay. All right. All right. See ya. Thank you. I'm about to call the. I'm about to call your sergeant right now. If you don't get off my butt right now, I'm sure the cop is very concerned. You're gonna to speak to his manager. Go get my ticket. Come back. I want to see my old lady. I gotta go offshore fishing. I want to see my old lady before I damn have to go, man. Do that many people still use the term "old lady" in this context? Hey, Thank you. At? Right She's in Wilmington at her sister's house. She's got brain cancer. I'm I'll, sorry, that's not relevant to this situation, though. I don't know why that's getting brought up. We'll try to speed this up, all right? Okay, if you have any complaints about I'm uh, just, one I'm of my just, deputies... I'm just, uh, I'm just upset, man. With the, with the sheriff's office, all right? Yeah, hey, man, I'm not, I'm not the bad guy, man. I'm just here. You definitely cast me out for no reason when I passed by GoGas. You come up on me like a chump, man. That was not cool. Me? Whoever it was... It wasn't me. I passed by, and they darted out of that parking lot, man. For no reason. Then I stopped up a little bit to be like, hey, what's up? You know, what's, what's the problem? I thought it was Chester, okay. to be honest. Okay. So, All right. I just, what's your name and badge number? We don't have badge numbers. Well, here. you have a Benjamin? I'm Deputy Benjamin with the Sheriff's Office. Okay, okay. what's your car number? I'm sorry? What's your patrol squad number or your, your car we number? Okay. All right. okay. All right. Thank you. I'm, try, I'm trying to be... I'm trying to be but you're not, man. You're not. You're, no, you're, not? You're Because you're investigating. I just said... I don't want to answer any more questions, so leave me alone. I haven't asked you any questions. Okay, where does she live at? What? I'm just talking to you. Okay, well, you're making me really uncomfortable, and it's not okay. 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 That is a scary visage. Yeah. I'm right here, man. Uh, roll down the window. Bro, I'm right here. Bro, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to tell. Roll down the window. I did. I don't have to roll down the window, sir. Woo. You're on camera right now. Coming What's in, the huh? problem? What's the pro? What? I'm out the door. Why? Why? Because I'm telling you to. I'm. Out of the Bro, that's not okay. Step out of the vehicle. I'm being I'm being totally harassed by the Pinner County Sheriff's Department right now. I don't think they're gonna see it that way. For no reason, I've asked to not be. Sir, will you step out of the. Vehicle? What is my charges? Am I under arrest? Sir, will you 
being uncooperative. Not I'm, no, I'm not. Hand. I don't have to roll the window down. The Dude, I don't have to roll the window down. The Do I have to roll the window down? For what reason? What's my, what's the, what's, the for what? They're going to arrest you, most likely for obstruction. For what reason? Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? Now you probably are. Arrest. Am I under arrest? He is wearing shades at night. That's weird. But is it, is it a lawful order? Yes, it is a lawful order. What is my charges? What is my charge? What am I being detained for? What? No, tell me. Man, You're like wrapped up what? like a douche in the night, am I right? What am I being detained for? Right what am I being detained for? Every single opportunity to step out of the vehicle right now. And I'm asking why. I don't feel comfortable. I fear for my safety. Sir, I feel for my safety right now. I understand that. And I'm not, I've got to have a panic. And please just answer my question. I'm not stepping out, man. I do not have to step out of the car without a lawful order. It is a lawful order. I'm and what is, on what basis is that lawful order? I am ordering. That is not good enough, sir. That is not good enough, sir. What is your name? Yeah, if he'd just, like, done the normal interaction, I'm sure they would have either just warned him or give him a ticket, and he'd already be gone. Huh? What is Sovereign citizens always make this so much worse. Your name? No one likes being pulled over. No one likes interacting with the cops. But, oh my god, you make it so much worse than it needs to be. Okay, what is my... What is my being detained no 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 i want to talk to your sergeant right now no no i'm gonna wait right here i need to wait right here comfortably please sir no that is not step out of the vehicle what is the... one last time then i'm gonna break the window you break the window and you will you will i'm gonna break the window Bro, I'm telling you, sir, I'm going to be as, I'm going to be as respectful as I can. Okay. They're definitely going to break that window. Okay. Is that fair enough? That's fair enough. Are sovereign Why citizens you... single-handedly keeping safe light in, in business? Why? I'm not gonna... So I feel like windows don't break that often, except in the context of sovereign citizens. Sir, you, need to step out the you can't, you can't do that. You, you can't just say it because you don't want to tell me. Sir. You need to step out of the Sir, I'm begging you to tell me why I'm being pulled over. Because I gave you a lawful order. Now step out of the vehicle. Fun fact. One time when I was younger, I had a car that I used to get to work. And the windshield cracked like a, a rock came up and hit it. Um, Wasn't my fault. A rock came up and hit it. And it did a big crack. Like the kind that you'd actually get pulled over for. So I spent $200 getting my windshield replaced. And then a week later, my car died. So that was fun. Why are you doing this, man? What What did I do to make you so angry to do this? I'm, I've, I've, really, I've got you on camera saying- It's alright, that was like 10 years ago now, but that still hurt. <laughs> ...that I was illegal <laughs> passing. Okay? One of those life's really fucking you moments, you know? <laughs> I've got you on camera saying that I was illegally passing, so I would like my ticket. I would like my ticket and my driver's license back, please. Unless I have, do I have a, do I have a warrant? Sir, do I have a, can you answer me that? Please tell me if I have a warrant, please. Please tell me if I have a warrant. Sir. Last chance. Sir. I'm gonna break the window. If you break the window, then that's gonna be. Step out of the vehicle. Tell me why. Last chance. Please tell, Last chance. Me, Ask, tell why me why you're gonna smash my window inside. Glass all over my car. What? Dude! Step out of the vehicle. Now. Dude. Step out of the vehicle. Dude. Sir, I'm please. Seat, Dude. Step out of the vehicle. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Unlock the door. I'm asking. Unlock the door. Sir. Step out of the vehicle. Now. There it is. I'm not going to tell you again. Sir, I'm not. I'm See, the sunglasses were for a reason. Not, Step out of the vehicle now. Why am I being. Step out sir, of the vehicle now. Please tell me why. Step out of the vehicle. Please tell me why. Now.
now. Sir, please tell me why. I'm not going to tell you again. Step out of the vehicle. Sir, you have to tell me why no, I'm I being do not detained. Step yes, out you of the do. Vehicle. Sir, tell you one last time. Or what? You're going to beat me? No, but I am going to pull you out of this vehicle. For what reason? Step out of the vehicle now. Sir, I'm. Dude, you know this is illegal, man. This is illegal, man. My car's in drive right now. Put it in park. Put it in park. Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? Obviously, yes. What do you mean are you under arrest? I'm under arrest? For what, sir? For what, sir? Sir. Hold on. I'm, this I'm is democracy no, manifest. Don't touch my phone. Don't touch my phone, man. What am I being arrested for? What am for I being enjoying a meal? What am a I being arrested Chinese for? A succulent Chinese meal? Can you tell me why I'm being arrested? Sir, can you tell me why I'm being arrested? What in the fuck is going on, guys? Yeah, he had his foot on the brake the whole time. Sir, but <laughs> I'm- Which isn't great. If you're stopped, please put it in park. Can I put my other hand? Okay, okay. okay. Give me your okay. other hand. I'm trying. I'm not fucking around. Okay, give me your other hand. hand in my pocket. You're gonna drop your phone. I do drop remember when Steven Anderson got tased. That was nice. I have my phone. Drop your phone. He's that hate preacher that does all the super anti-gay stuff. We can actually watch that. Steven Anderson. Mr. Anderson. This is the guy we're talking about. You may have seen him. He's, you know, Westboro Baptist Churchy. He's, I guess, into some sovereign citizen stuff, too, and he got tased at some point. Oh, where is it? Hmm. You're coming out of this car one way or the Yeah, anybody traveling back along Interstate 8 from California. Where's the video of it? What? Was this it? <gasps> Somebody record this! Oh, maybe I hadn't seen this one. You can go inside, you're about to be arrested. No, that's a different guy. Okay. Why am I not seeing his video? Is he the one that did the straight pride conference cringe? I'm actually not sure. Wasn't he at the border when he did this? Hmm. Someone else could look. I'd appreciate it. Not a big deal, but... I know it used to be on YouTube. You had trouble finding it last time, too? Yeah, maybe he got it removed or something. It's gotta exist somewhere, but we've seen it before, so I'm not gonna spend, like, 20 minutes looking. Oz, what it really means. The Wizard of Oz, what it really means. This appears to be a message to expose the banking cartel in America, and to let the people know that they have the power to liquidate them, and get back to Kansas, the real land and republic. It's in Fundy Friday's video? Hell yes! You're gonna hear the truth about the sodomites! <laughs> Fucking love Fundy Fridays, she's excellent. Let's see where that clip is. <laughs> that was probably it. Of rights as an American. I, I like to patrol. Can you do a citizen or no? You can ask, that's fine. And you have to answer me, or I'll have to detain you until you can either tell me that you're Well, I don't have to answer you because I have uh, rights as an American. Sir, go ahead and pull over there We're behind that other vehicle if you do me a favor. Nah, no thanks. I'd like to just go on my way. You can go on Wizard of Oz is just a fantasy here. story, it's not a secret code. Conspiracy theorists tend to be what? into what folding ideas called esoteric fictionalism, which I think is a good way of putting it, and that is the belief that stories, fictional stories, movies, books, folk tales, any sort of fiction is a coded version of reality. So they believe that there is no such thing as a truly fictional story. They think every piece of fiction is secretly trying to tell you a deep secret about the real world. Now, 
like, there is a reality that usually within stories there are themes that are meant to be relevant to the real world, but they think that literally the events and plot points of stories are thinly veiled, coded truths about the world. Syncretism's a little bit different. Syncretism's when you, like, have a similar creature or thing in multiple different stories and you put them together into one. Syncretism and this interact, but they're not the same exact thing. Like, well, they use syncretism within that esoteric fictionalism in the sense that they might say another example that um, Dan Olson gave was, oh, this story over here talks about a dragon, and this other story talks about a great dragon. Both these stories are talking about the same dragon. So... Thinking these stories are secrets about the world would be esoteric fictionalism. The belief that these different fictional stories are talking about the same thing, even though they're not, that would be syncretism. Oh, you know, I, I didn't know that I have to go around proving that I'm a citizen. Do I need to, like, show my papers like the Nazis? Or... I'm not, am I immigrating somewhere? Or... Is this Mexico? Or... Anderson refused to move his car or roll down his windows at a Border Patrol checkpoint, which triggered a 90-minute standoff and the calling of Arizona Department of Public Safety officers to the scene. The confrontation ended when authorities broke Anderson's car windows, tased him, forced him to the ground. In your state, you have to show your driver's license during a traffic stop, but you don't have to answer their questions. And I think generally, at minimum, you have to show driver's license, insurance, registration, um and like verbally identify yourself if asked beyond that i don't think but talk to a lawyer and beat him while he was lying or at least look it up state by state on the ground this is one of those situations where two assholes are fighting and the only satisfaction we get is to see stevie boy get his ass kicked Earlier this year, uh, Anderson decided to monetize his experience and made a propaganda film about it. Did he really? Stop you, please! Stop doing your little video! Anderson is also a proud anti-Semite. What was that called? I gotta find that experience. Guy. Failure to obey. No fucking way. He made a whole ass documentary. Oh my god, what a douche. <laughs> well, we probably have to watch this, don't we? Am I legally required to watch this? I feel like something in my contract says I probably have to watch this. What are you placing me under arrest for? Prefer to obey me right now. Are you living in a constitution-free zone and you don't even know it? Well, federal district judge Edward Corman recently upheld a policy of the Obama administration stripping away of many rights Obama to privacy within 100 miles of national borders. The critics say the ruling violates protection against illegal search and seizure protected by the Fourth Amendment. To be clear, I do think that that is bullshit, that rule. I think it's asinine and way over the top. Searches are allowed to be completely... But I also recognize that just saying no to a search in those areas isn't going to change. Unless I have a big legal team, I'm ready to go to court about it. Suspicionless. And they apply to anyone within a hundred mile radius of the borders. My whole ass peninsula's there. All of it. Look at it. Michigan is a constitution-free zone. Pretty, though. So do you see that red line that's going around the map? Well, if you're within that zone, your cell phone and laptop and other electronic devices can be searched without a cause. Now, tell me about these constitutional free zones, you know, because I heard a little bit about this. That's why I fill my computer with tons of furry porn. That way, when they search it, joke's on them. Now they're looking at furry porn. I saw the report you did. It was an excellent report. So give us some more detail on this. It's amazing to me that no one's talking about this. The DHS now says it's above the law, it's above the Constitution, and that 197 million citizens mm -hmm. of the United States now live in a Constitution-free zone. What that means is the Fourth Amendment doesn't exist, and that any time anyone living in these areas can be searched by the Department of Homeland Security. The Department of Homeland Security has effectively abolished the Fourth Amendment's protection against unreasonable search and seizure within 100 miles of the border. 
The ACLU points out that this zone would include the entire population of Florida, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, Washington, D.C., and Michigan. Yeah, we actually have a graphic provided from the ACLU who is, again, suing them right now. Mm -hmm. And you can see the 100-mile zone absorbs Philadelphia, Los Angeles, Houston. This is just from the top of my head. Right. And, I mean, it's suffocating. Pretty much the entire state of Florida. The entire the, state, the entire of Florida, state of Florida, yeah. The entire state of Maine, a good portion of Texas where we're at right now. I mean, Austin barely survives this massive quote. Can we get this the dog dude to tell you that? Yeah. The dog dude to tell you that point. Of course, it was 75 miles from the border on a highway that goes east to west. Basically, they wanted me to answer a lot of questions. They wanted to search my vehicle, search the trunk, and I basically asserted my right not to answer questions and not to be searched without a warrant. Are you a US citizen, sir? Am I free to go? Can you roll down your window, sir? Secondary. No, sir. Can you roll down your window, sir? No. Are you a U.S. citizen, sir? Am I free to go? Are you a U.S. citizen, sir? Am I free to go? Can you go ahead and go under that tarp, sir? Can I go on my way, please? Go ahead, sir. May I go on my way, please? Sir. Can you please uh, go under that? Can I go, please? Sir. No, sir. Sir, you're being secondary for yeah. a canine alert, okay? Uh, I'd like to go on my way, please. Right now, you, the dog alerted to your vehicle, and the dog... Damn, the dog things are so stupid. Sniffed it and walked away. Therefore, the video evidence demonstrated that the Border Patrol agents were lying when they said that the dog alerted. I'm not under arrest. I don't even disagree about that. A gentleman oh, he cut away. from the DPS walked over to the passenger side of the vehicle and he got out a hammer and uh, some other device and he was kind of tapping on the window for a couple minutes like as if he were you know getting ready to break the window and he was on the passenger side I'm all the way over on the driver's side well they told me you know cover your eyes because there's gonna be glass when we when we break this window in so I put my I hands over my face color. like this and I leaned forward to cover my eyes and at that moment not only did the officer on the passenger side break the window but Another hammer just came from out of nowhere. I didn't see this coming at all and shattered the window right behind my head. I mean, six inches from my head. So both windows shattered in the same instant. I'm like this with my uh, face in my hands. And at that moment, I'm shot by tasers. Couldn't have happened to a better guy. Okay, what else we got? Oh, we have cat, but everyone's sick of cat. At least that's what they tell me. Oh my god, we gotta watch the second part of the guy... <clears throat> the guy who, um, fled his state. He got in that car chase with the police while he had his macaw with him. Update on me. Yeah, I survived that shit. He got out on bond and ran away from the police. So he's fled from his his trial for that shit. Yeah, it was a hell of an ordeal. The bird is safe. The bird is with a family member of his. My car, the beautiful white Tesla, uh, it is riddled with bullets, bullet holes all throughout it, damaged. If I don't want my car to be riddled with bullets, I tend to not get into 20 minute long high speed chases with the police. Completely, 100% totaled. I am above all grateful for the love of God. For In fairness, sometimes you'll dent a Tesla's fender and it'll be totaled. Those cars are a nightmare to fix. <laughs> <laughs> the protection of the blood of the lamb and for the things he's done for me for him stopping bullets from puncturing my body from injuring me uh in, in any way oh he thinks divine intervention saved him that's not good uh two if anything that emboldens him that's a shame bullets hit me one uh on the shoulder and one directly in the spine and miraculously again they left holes in my shirt that they didn't puncture my body and that they were rubber bullets so less le less lethal rounds they're not supposed to puncture you they're supposed to hit you real hard and hurt is nothing short 
of, uh, of a miraculous intervention from uh, the divine source of all sources, Jesus Christ. Actually, no bullets were in his body because no bullets were ever used. Per the report, less lethal munitions were used to apprehend himself. Part of the Oath Keepers, you just did if you did. what I really do. Y'all heard of the Oath Keepers? You just did if you didn't. <clears throat> what do I do for the Oath Keepers? It's called counterintelligence. And like I was trying to tell y'all before, I do these audits so that I can infiltrate the system entirely. This audit was my most successful one till date in the U.S. Your high-speed chase with the police that you have now fled from your bond from is a success? I'd hate to see your failures. I say, because it brought me into the inner circle of judges, lawyers, prosecutors, the entire sheriff's department, all of the staff in the Indio, in the Indio jail, uh, all the staff in the Blythe jail, and all the crooked, dirty pigs along the way reason whatsoever my job there and my work there is done well i charge it following you back this background of them real quick a little background shot for you this man this chinese asset and yes i do have some history with spying in china so there's something I can tell you all about in a future story about oh, how yeah. I got it. He shouldn't have been let out on bond. He needed a, a, a competency hearing. Holy shit. He is like gone. Death warrant. He thinks he's been spying in China? China. Anyhow, this Chinese asset and so-called judge who was appointed by uh by the corrupt uh governor uh, uh gavin newsom he saw he could clearly see that i was there on no legal grounds so he decided to... again this guy probably needs help so i don't know how much i could really blame him here he's not in touch with reality he went on a 20 minute high speed chase with the police that ended in a shootout and they let him out on bond Oh, oh! I feel like they probably regret that now. To make my bail, one million dollars. That's correct. He was initially hit with a one million dollar bond amount. Oh, a million! A little deep. Long story short, I was held hostage for thirteen days and thirteen nights after that. And even after I was released, the release came at no small cost. First of all, there's a guy named Roger Tenzi, who uh, is apparently uh, the, the public pretender in, the, in that Blythe jail, or in that Blythe uh, courthouse. And he did his worst to uh, make sure that uh, the agreement uh, for release was illegal AF. He did say Oath Keepers, but given his mental state, he might not have anything to do with them. I don't think he's very in touch with reality. And that everything that... Uh, he also claimed he did, like, spy work in China. So, like... I would be forced to agree to would mean that I would be unarmed. Uh, and that I would have absolutely no rights at all. Any You're out on bond. Yep, they keep an eye on you. Anyway, on day 13, they had a, a phony court process in there. And... Uh, I walked into that courtroom, shackled and chained, and the thing I said when that door opened was, where is that sniveling piss ant you call a lawyer? Get him over here so I can fire him. Oh! I was referring to Roger Tenzi, because I knew for a fact, if it hadn't been for him in there making stupid freaking deals, that I would already have been out. Now, they coerced and forced me to, uh, to agree uh, to these horrible fair, Harold Elbelman. Fair. and illegal terms for my release, although I was held illegally as nothing more than a hostage. And he's telling me, do you agree to these terms of your own free will? And I say, I agree, but only out of duress. And he says to me again, you must agree, 
but you must agree from your own free will. And I said, I cannot agree of my own free will because I'm here as a hostage, so I agree under duress. This judge starts to scream and spit and his forehead veins popping out and he's like, you will agree of your own free will. You will say it for the record that you are agreeing of your own free will. And I very silently and quietly, I looked him in his eyes for three seconds and then I moved my gaze down to his throat and I uttered these words quietly. I said, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Got him. Again, holy shit, this guy needs help. Why did he not receive a competency hearing? Holy fuck. Hats off. What do you want me to wear, Bella Lugosi? So Roger Tanzi, the sniveling... He was... That's right. He was released on his own recognizance. What? Oh my god. He didn't even have a bond. There were some stipulations, though. Nonsense. Probation. And last that last... And what they call a superior court is in fact bullet crown i'll wear it for a while but it does get uncomfortable so i'll use cat ears as a backup if this starts to hurt worship me i am your queen nothing more uh than a criminal dog and pony show which uh bears no uh it has no legal authority in this case, in the case of BLF 2300251, uh, the person being uh, represented here is a man by the name of Kidnapped Victim. And the attorney in the case is none other than, none other than yours truly, Valentino Vanderbilt. Now I have on the phone here a person from the court who is trying to coerce me and tell Hello, me what uh, I have thank to you, do. Thank you, H. Jorturth. I won this crown. By defeating a conspiracy theorist. Sort of. Not really. It's a whole thing. I should have received this crown for defeating a conspiracy theorist, but they decided not to pay me what was owed, so someone else made me one. And I consider it my spiritual prize for having one. What the fuck am I doing with my life? In order to get my own legal uh, hearing... Uh, via phone to represent my client, kidnapped victim. Now, I want you all to hear uh, what she has to say and bear witness uh, as to this sham that's, uh, that she is going to help further. Uh, I've taken off the hold, ma'am. What is your name, please? Lonnie. Okay. Uh, do you happen to have a last name? I don't give out my last name. Okay, so you're just, your name is Lonnie, and you work where? This clip gets a bit, uh, marcel -y, if you're familiar with my Marcel coverage. I work for the call center. What, which call center do you work for? This is the only call center for the well, whole... it's good to hear from you. Uh, Chat more. I always like to hear from people. Especially, there have got to be people in this audience who've been here a ton, but have just never chatted. Like, I recognize people from chat, but I'm sure there are people who are around just as often, but just don't talk, which is fine. No one's obligated to. Hi, those people, regular viewers that don't chat whose names I don't know. Thank you. You're cool, even though I don't know you very well. Okay, wh to, be, to be specific, which courthouse is it we're referring to at the moment? We're located at Hall of Justice. Okay, yes, and where like is that? You. That's in Riverside. And where is Riverside located? What state? California. Is California located in the United States of America, or yes or no? Sir, can I please the get lurkers your name spook no easily, but soon they'll return in greater numbers. For contact information, so I can send Ma'am, that was a yes or no question. Where is Riverside We're located? Not do this. We're not doing that. So we will agree no. that California is not in the USA. Then I'm taking your. Uh, California is in the USA. Uh, your Fun fact. Resistance to the question as a no. Got her. Case dismissed. Can I please get your name and contact information so I can notify your department? You can get my name and my contact information. My name is first Valentino. Can you spell that or would you like my assistance? <laughs> Condescending. Um, Fedenkagami says, hey bud, when you rebuked the judge, did everyone clap? No, I see your- I did. In spirit. Your case right here. Okay. Are you Valentino Vanderbilt? 
I am. I like Dummy Kruger too. The... I just don't feel it's fair for me to like play the segments where he's talking. You know. Attorney for a man who is at. That's his content. Dahlia Viani says, I sometimes chat, but more often than not, I'm watching on YouTube while I'm working, um, A-K-F-W-K-J-V. But take my money anyway, it autocorrected to not cheer this, Raffle. Actually noted and named as kidnapped victim Hydrate. on the paperwork. Don't try to flip the script here and say that the attorney is the defendant. There's no script flipping necessary here. You're the defendant here, big guy. So, here we go. I am the, the attorney for fucked. one named Kidnapped Victim. If you look at the intake paperwork, where this man was held hostage in Blythe Jail, you will see his name was written down, Kidnapped Victim, and you will see that the boss of the, or the warden, as you might call him, of the jail, stamped off and approved that the man's name was, was the keyboard smash. Kidnapped Victim. <laughs> okay, so, I wasn't sure. When he was initially arrested and booked, Vanderbilt refused to provide his name. He claims he signed his name as, quote, Kidnapped Victim. I suppose this spy isn't very familiar with the other ways law enforcement have at their disposal to identify a person, like physical description, vehicle registration, ID, or biometric data such as fingerprints. You will also hear him testify that he is a hostage. I am that man's attorney. You, you are that man. Write down my name as the attorney for kidnapped victim. You may, you should, at this moment, you should have already updated the file because the defendant is not Valentino Satoshi Vanderbilt. The defendant is kidnapped victim. And we need to update that he's not a defendant, but he was a hostage. How can a hostage okay. be a defendant? And what is your callback number? Uh, you're going to get my email address and you're going to write down my email address and anybody who wishes to contact me will contact me through my email address. Very demanding for a Fleeing like a defendant. Are we clear? Okay, so you're refusing to give me your. Are favorite. we clear? Are you. Wow, he is. Again, I can't blame him too much because it's pretty clear that he's got like mental health crises going on, but holy shit. I did miss the Satoshi. I missed the Satoshi mention. Satoshi's the name of the person, the alias of the person who invented Bitcoin, so. You refusing to let me know if we're clear or not? Okay, so here's what's going to happen. No, 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 no. You said you want some contact information. I'm giving you my contact information. Are you we able to write email. it down or not? We do not email. We only call. Well, that's a violation of my rights, is it not? No, your right to have the state email you? What constitution are you reading? No, it's not. Hydrate, can do. No, it is. Mmm, I'm afraid not, kidnap victim. I have to give this one to Lonnie. I'm going to disconnect the call and inform the department of the situation, okay? What are you going to inform them of? Of exactly what just happened. His middle name is Satoshi? I missed that. That's interesting. I wonder if he changed it, or if it's just an interesting middle name. What just happened? Can you define what happened? I'm going to let them know that an attorney, person who claims to be attorney, there we so go. Valentino Vanderbilt. Wrong. Has the attorney's and name is Valentino them. Vanderbilt. The client's name is kidnapped victim. The <clears throat> we're going to go over this one Either more time way. to be clear. The case number is BLF. Once again, he is claiming to both be the defendant and his own lawyer, but he's talking about it as if they're two separate entities. Because sovereign citizens often believe that your legal self is a separate entity than you, the person. Not true, but it's what they believe. So that's why he's discussing this as if he is both himself and his own attorney. He's talking about himself in the third person because he considers his legal self a different being than his true flesh and blood real self. 2300251. Did you get that? Yeah, I think Lonnie finally had enough. Remember, this is his court date. He's about to make another call to the courthouse and speak with someone else. Now, how would I be able to uh, uh, attend the uh, the hearing this morning via phone? Uh, the courthouse doesn't do that. It... He wants to attend his court appearance over the phone? Not even Zoom. The phone? That's something you would have... Michigan is pretty good about doing the Zoom thing when people need it. 
Um, which I think is a good thing. Honestly, a lot of people don't have vehicles to easily get to court. Cost some money. So I think it's nice that at least for, like, the initial appearances, the arraignments and stuff, especially for misdemeanors, makes sense to be able to do it over Zoom. But sir, you've been charged with multiple felonies. They're gonna want you in court. Fenikagami says, Isn't it interesting how their methods totally work? Please believe them, but it's clear he's trying to lie right here. He's pretending to not be the same person who was arrested. It's interesting how there's some part of him that knows that doesn't work, and in reality they're trying to um, create paperwork to... Or rather, to confuse paperwork to create a technicality. I don't know if he thinks about it like that, or if that's just the result of the weird system that other sovereign citizens have created that he's following, but it is a point to note. I have to take on with the courthouse because court... Oh, I understand Wolf Butler. I know why he wants it. He just doesn't understand why that's not reasonable. The court hearing is being held over there. So, the courthouse... And from what I understand, they, the courthouse here does not... Could they I, don't could do I ask video you? or phone. Okay. Uh, so, I, I that's, that's obviously um, illegal. Nope. Still not. Will you be in court today? Well, um, that's the thing. Or it is, so it turns out... Uh, just so I can let my staff know. Yeah, this is my, my attempt to make it to court. Um, okay. My, the, the, my person, my physical body, isn't able to make it, but obviously my okay. personality and my professionality are able to make it uh, via some sort of video. Uh, or I could even possibly call in. I could call in from my office, and we could have video court that way as well. But I'm. I will not agree yeah, to like do I it. Yeah, like I said, that's something you would have to take on with the courthouse. I, I understand, ma'am. I just like okay. to let you know that if they're wanted... requesting Zoom or a uh -huh. Zoom conference, I refuse to do it via Zoom simply because Zoom is a Chinese entity, and I don't. Is Zoom owned by a Chinese company? I genuinely don't know. And it wouldn't matter if it was? Want to give up any of this information to Chinese assets or spies abroad, which is exactly what would happen if we were doing it via Zoom. Oh, yeah. He's paranoid. Because it was the local YouTube channel. So whatever okay. relevant information you could pass on to your department, let them know that my physical body cannot make it because my physical body is located in Arizona. Right there. That's why I think he was lying to his P.O. I believe he told his P.O. he would be residing in Arizona. That's why that state is specifically on his release paperwork. By any means, by uh, any criminal organization out there. However, according to my legal rights, I am allowed to appear by phone or by video. He's doing it because he's racist, not out of any legit security concerns. I mean, I think we're drawing pretty hard lines on his beliefs here, considering they seem quite delusional. Delusional beliefs don't have... Like, a rational belief might have pretty sharp edges on it, you know? It's clearly defined what the beliefs are and where they begin and where they end. When you're delusional like this, it gets fuzzy. So don't get me wrong, it definitely seems like he's racist, but that's mixed in with a lot of other paranoid stuff, it seems like. So it's more nuanced than just that. But yes, he's probably racist. But he's also delusional. Neither excuses the other, you know? But... They're both in play. And according to my own terms in the matter. So please pass that on to uh, whoever your superiors are. Okay. I put that in your into your file. Thank you so much. Know. Again, have an awesome day. Thank you, Mr. Vanderbilt. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Kisses. Bye-bye. Oh, he ended with kisses. So he pretty much missed his call. Hey, Vanderbilt goes live again and informs his viewers that his case has been dismissed. Let's see how he did it. The jury in the case number BLF2300251. This is occurring in uh, Superior Court of California in Blythe. Oh, he's holding his own court. Bold. Really bold. Mm, so some Chinese companies have part in Zoom, and that's what he's concerned about. This is the only uh, correct and accurate statement and judgment which will be or has been made in this courtroom 
as of this date, to my knowledge. Here we have it, guys. <clears throat> now, in regards to case number, this is a direct uh, rebuttal to R.R. Tanzi, who is the, uh, or was, in fact, the uh, public defender down there in that court. Dalia Viani, thanks for 100 bits. I emailed this to him, so he has documentation, and I'm reading it to you all so you can, uh, you can see... Uh, email that says you're fired it says in regard to case number then the case number you've been relieved of your duties unconditionally and without pay as you are not legally retained to defend anyone nor do you display sanity or competence in said defense they were a state attorney there was no part of this where you were gonna pay toriador with 50 bits says does he know what uh know that tattoos are a sin <laughs> different people have different beliefs about their religion and their tattoos um Valentino S. Vanderbilt, nor the inmate known <laughs> who was actually a hostage by the name of kidnapped victim, and is documented as such on the intake papers, which were also approved by the headmaster of the Blythe Jail. No such defendant by the name Valentino Vanderbilt exists, as Valentino Vanderbilt is not and cannot be charged with any crimes under United States constitutional law. Neither can kidnapped victim either be charged with any crimes under United States constitutional law. We, the people of the United States of America, have determined this court, along with judges Andrew Chang and Gregory Olson, to be in severe breach of the United States Constitution. We hereby demand that they be relieved of their post unconditionally and without pay, and we hereby charge them both with high crimes of felony, high crimes of felony treason, felony coercion, felony kidnapping, felony conspiracy, felony racketeering, and whatever other crimes may also become evident during the investigation into their crimes. Should you wish to represent these two criminals, you are not authorized to legally represent anyone under United States constitutional law. <laughs> um, you are hereby ordered to cease and desist, remove yourself and your articles from this court, and not identify yourself as a United States constitutional lawyer, as you are thoroughly, and that's where it cuts off. Wow. That's a lot. Dahlia Viani says, sent the, that one early like a dumbass, but I meant to say I'm from a hella small town, and the one judge also said Zoom is a Chinese company and refused to hold court when things were locked down, and he blocked all kinds of hearings and stuff just because he wouldn't use Zoom. It was insane. What an asshole. Uh, and to take note of both my testimony, and uh, now you all can bear witness as well. Alrighty, now I shall make my own statement verbally and visually. I'm letting him know he is fired. The memo to this email says exactly... No, a fan made the crown for me. Peter never, never paid me. You're fired. In regards to case number BLF 2300251, you have been relieved of your duties unconditionally and without pay. As you were not legally retained to defend anyone, determined this court felony racketeering confirmed in the state's constitutional law. Let's you skip the part that I already read. Are hereby ordered to cease and desist, remove yourself and your articles from this court, and do not identify yourself as a United States constitutional mm. lawyer, as you are thoroughly disqualified. The formal charges brought against you by we the people of the United States of America are as follows. Felony racketeering, felony conspiracy, felony wire fraud, and whatever other felonies may become apparent during the remainder of our investigation. The case BLF 2300251 is hereby dismissed as invalid according to the United States Constitutional Law. Well, he's claiming he unilaterally dismissed his own case. That's not a thing you get to do. And it is ordered that the state of California must remit $333,333,333 to Valentino Satoshi Vanderbilt by no later than 01-12-2024 at 5 p.m., Pacific Standard Time. 
Personally, I would round up to a cool 350 mil, but what the hell do I know? Failure to remit will result in class action lawsuit in the 9th District Supreme Court. What's the class? Are you claiming to be a class in and of yourself? You can't individually file a class action lawsuit. Who are the other people in the class? Reading this correspondence is an express consent and agreement to the terms and conditions stated within. The following video links provide ev overwhelming evidentiary proof in all counts. Concluding this order with good day. We the people have made our choice, and we the people will see it through that the judgment is carried out and meted out according to our demands. Thank you. Good day. Ooh, nice little, little pound on the table at the end. That really accentuates it. According to our demands. Thank you. Good day. Good day. I'm adopting that. That's mine now. And that right there, guys, is how you dismiss a case. Thank you. Good day. Oh, was he now, trying to emulate a gavel? Was that why he did that? That's funny. Even though someone probably did read this correspondence and said correspondence meant they agreed to the terms, it looks like they reneged because a bench warrant was issued on that same day. <laughs> Such a shame, because it was a hell of a speech. Okay, moving ahead, seven days after this phone call, the following happened. Show me the warrant! You have I hope he gets a competency hearing because he needs it badly. Alright, man, stand up. On up. Okay, where's we'll your where's your camera on this? It's right there. And there's one over there. Yeah, we got tons of, tons of camera on this. Any updates on Chili? He's big into Ayn Rand now, and he's quoting Atlas Shrugged constantly. Can you think you're you're so he's even more insufferable somehow, which is impressive. Can we see the warrant? Huh? Can we Why see the warrant? Yeah, we'll player. show you here in a second, brother. Yeah, let's get everyone. Keep your hand in your pocket. Please, thank you. You got anything in your pocket? That's <laughs> cool. All right, I just want to make sure, man. All right, you can put your hand back in your pocket. That's fine. Here's his phone. So the Missoula website is a little limited because it only shows two charges, however, I later found out he's actually hit with four charges. The first one here, of course, is being a fugitive. The other one is for threats in official and political matters. First, he does like to refer himself to as, quote, the pig <laughs> On top of that, I found a clip of what seems to be a direct threat to one of the CHP officers that pulled him over during the car chase. He thinks he can hide behind uh, his badge. He refused to identify himself by his full name, but I do have his last name, and I know he's extraordinarily new uh, to the CHP, to that force, uh, and his last name's Rooney. It's either Tim Rooney or Jeff Rooney, one of those two. I, I can't really find any information on him, so I'm going to have to f uh, find information on his associates. Uh, and we'll do that in another episode. Unfortunately, how do you treat a guy like that? He's like, e, any attempt to medicate him is going to be interpreted as them trying to control him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. Wish I did. Missed your juggle. I'm sorry. Let me make sure I fix that. There's the juggle. So where I'm going to go ahead and start battling ah! CHP. Uh, because I do have names and I do have uh, a lot of information on a lot of other people from there. So since he's from their office, we're going to get to the heart of the matter. We're going to find his uh, first name. We will find his location and that location will be made public because oh, Oath Keepers, say. Three Percenters, Hells Angels, and Sons of Silence will do something. All of them. It. Wow. Not only did he threaten one of the officers, it seems he may have even threatened one of the judges that was presiding over his case. A judge by the name of Andrew Cheng, and I'm going to let you all have his picture. 
and uh, later on here, maybe today or tomorrow, I'm going to release the address of Adger Cheng. Don't do that. You guys already have his picture on my uh, profile if you've been uh, looking at my posts. I have no doubt that there are others, but this felt very similar to Eric Brandt, who is currently sitting in prison for eight years for threatening a judge. I was able to locate two additional charges through a writ of habeas corpus that his father filed in federal court on February 20th of this year. Essentially a writ of habeas corpus Benikigami, what do you want me to look up in Black's Law Dictionary? Allows a court to review the legality of a person's detention and to order the potential release of the individual if that detention is found to be unlawful. In the petition, his father claims there are violations of his 4th, 5th, 6th, 8th, and 14th amendments. I've linked that entire document below. In the petition, his father also brings up his son's reluctance to use Zoom because of Chinese spies. I also found two additional charges that I was- That's not good that the dad's apparently going forward with the delusions. That's not good. <sighs> Looking for assault. Can do. <laughs> Thanks, shark sashimi. That- That's probably good. Probably. <laughs> Assault. Okay. Assault. Any willful attempt or threat to inflict injury upon the person of another when coupled with an apparent present ability to do so, and any intentional display of force as such would give the victim reason to fear or expect immediate bodily harm constitutes as assault. An assault may be committed without actually touching or striking or doing bodily harm to the person of another wasn't aware of earlier his father writes plaintiff was apparently initially being held on the riverside assault is the hors d'oeuvres of battery Hyde county california bench warrant for extradition a hearing was held on 1 18 2024 where plaintiff waived extradition which we know he didn't have a choice in the matter but then on 1 25 24 the plaintiff was charged in a warrant issued by the montana highway patrol citing montana statutes 45 5203 intimidation now that's a newly filed felony charge that could result in a sentence of up to 10 years in prison he was also apparently charged with 45 5214 assault with bodily fluid digging oh see that's that's not that's not a fun charge that's not a fun charge at all Keep your bodily fluids to yourself in most situations. The petition a little bit more, I was able to locate how this new charge transpired. Vanderbilt's father writes, The arrest took place in Lake County, Montana. However, the plaintiff was taken to the Missoula County Sheriff for processing and has been held there ever since. During the plaintiff's ride with Highway Patrol, Trooper Larson transporting him to the- It was spit. He spit on someone. Missoula County for process. He spit on one of the cops. Processing. Trooper Larson was using his lab. The communist plot to steal all our bodily fluids. Top by driving and driving erratically, with excessive speed and recklessly. Plaintiff repeatedly asked the trooper to mind his driving, and Trooper Larson repeatedly ignored him. Plaintiff spit through the divider screen onto the trooper's laptop. Trooper Larson advised Plaintiff that he would be charged for that, and that he would quote, find my favorite Kubrick movie. Strange Love is my favorite Kubrick movie. Something else to charge the plaintiff with. I mean, yeah, that'll probably do it. Also in the writ, I found out about a hearing that took place on January. See a profane priestess, have fun at d and I'm sure we'll talk later. January 27th, that resulted in him being sent to the Montana State Mental Hospital, which, honestly, seems like a fair call. That's good. I'm glad that he's going to hopefully be getting some help. I'm sure he's not going to have a fun time, don't get me wrong, but... At least, hopefully, they can see if they can maybe get him medicated or something. Literally anything would probably be good at this point, so that's good. A few days later, the federal judge responded to the petition by dismissing it without prejudice. The court came to its conclusion by simply writing, Nah, we good. All right, everyone, I think that's where we can wrap this one up. I'll be checking periodically to look- The closest to a happy ending I could have expected with that one, honestly, considering how, like out of reality that guy is i really really hope that he's able to receive help um because oh boy he is not very connected to reality which isn't a fun thing to happen believe me what's up hey david hey tell you who he is yet
What's that? Tell you who he is yet? He's not. All right, let's just take him out and bring him back so we can identify him. Yep. I was just trying to see if we had anything on there so I could at least come up and already have his information, but it's a rental car. Yep. And I got nothing else on it. No idea who it is? No, I've never even seen this guy before. I blew right through the stop sign, but he is not, uh, he said he's, he doesn't have to stick around. Okay, okay. well, I'm advising you legally, you have to stay here. Yeah, he's detained. Strange love is one word. Dr. Strange love, no space, or how I stopped worrying and learned to love the bomb. You, had to, uh, you gotta have a contract for a right and a driver's license. I need to see that. Four ten four. Don't know where, don't know when. <laughs> my uncle was stuck in my head. Was first sergeant military police. Okay. My cousin is a police officer in Genesee County. Okay. Who is it in Genesee County? That would be Morgan. Oh, well, when so you anyway, typed it the first time, there was a space. I don't know. I also have had... Don't blame me. You typed it. Pub, uh, federal security clearance of high security public trust, right? So I'm all about Constitution. Okay. So I need you as a public servant, because am I a public servant or are you the public servant? So are you there? Oh, he's doing the thing. Sir, you're an individual in the public. You're not the totality of the public. Correct. I'm the public servant. Good. You have an oath of office that Constitution, am I correct? Oh boy. Yep. What's the 10th Amendment? So... The 10th Amendment says that rights or uh, powers not given to the states shall be given to the states or the individuals in the states, respectively. I'm not gonna get into that. So you don't... No, 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 La, 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 I can't hear you, la, 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 he sounds like a toddler having a tantrum. I'm gonna have you remove out of the car. So I'm gonna record this you're, again. You're free to record. You can record whatever you like. I'm gonna roll up the window. I'm gonna have 203 start this way as well. 196 to 203 if you can enter this location. Next step is I call 911 and I get SWAT here. Oh, you're gonna call a SWAT team on the cops? Oh, this guy's spicy. This guy's like coming in so hot. At this point in time, because if you're trying to demand anything out of me, we need to I'll identify keep in mind, you, sir. I have no problem with giving you my license when you have you. What I'm doing is I'm ensuring you're abiding by your oath to the Constitution. So we need to see your driver's license. You don't need to see anything from me because you are a public servant. I have the right to travel under the Ninth Amendment. I have right The Ninth Amendment's the supremacy clause of the Constitution. What the fuck are you talking about? The Tenth Amendment says you do need a license. Right, First Amendment right, freedom of exercise of religion. Freedom of exercise so of religion. Freedom of exercise of your religion? What religion says that you can drive a car on public roads without a license? Yeah. To do with you committing I'm a vehicle clarify, and traffic for law da, 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 Stop interrupting me. Oh my god, this guy's the rudest. Is this the most infuriating sovereign citizen we've seen in a while? There's something about this, like, man-child, like, bip, 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 boo. This is driving me fucking nuts. You're the public servant. First Amendment, Two freedom of exercise of religion, right? Does it state that clearly? So what I don't understand, sir, is what does it have to so do with you not stopping at a stop sign? That's what I'm getting to. Are you going to answer speeding? my question? No, I need to see your driver's yes. license and registration. If you're not going to answer my question, then we're not going You want to act like a public servant and answer my question? Or do you want to act like an adult? What are you doing, dude? Oh, no. You you're might act like you're the you're gonna do have is... done. It seems to me like this guy just swore. I'm in right. You're not hurting my right. Sorry, the original video doesn't exist. It only exists on this person's channel, so I'm skipping over their commentary. It's as a... I hate when I have to do that, but when there's good material, there's good material. You are citizen. 
and validating that you're not abiding by your oath of con to the Constitution. So my job here today so is to your monitor job here traffic today safety. is to enforce the law. Is that correct? Correct, which you violated. No, because the first, the, which is the supreme law of the land, Marbury versus Madison, if a law is created that violates a constitutional standard. Okay, guess what? Driver's licenses don't violate the Constitution. So you got another argument? Or are you going to actually accept the ticket? It is automatically null and void. So Kagami says not only the most infuriating, the most wrong, he's not even getting his own talking points right. His dialogue tree is faulty. Sir, is that how correct? does that have to do if with you? you got a Fallout 4 dialogue tree where it's just the same three options over and over again. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Constitution. <laughs> So that's what I'm getting to. Did you do what's the freedom of I don't of understand. Our... That's a tenth amendment, Marcus Drake. So if you don't understand, I'm free to, to educate you. And are you gonna what listen to at... at least I thought it was. Sir, Pennsylvania because versus you are Mims. Not listening to Sir, me. Pennsylvania versus Mims says that we have the right to ask you out of the car. You don't have any rights to the First Amendment, separation of church and state. I gotta love how they cherry picks the priest. Marbury versus Madison, if a law is made that violates the constitutional standard, it's automatically null and void. Sir, you can either give us your license or you're gonna have to step out of the vehicle. It's your choice. <sighs> There's all the doors in line, too. Yep. Annoying, isn't it? I'm here till time. I've already fought a course case in North County Wander. Just let you know. I had it thrown out, it was dismissed. For the same principle I'm stating with you right now. Okay. So do you think you have the authority? You violated vehicle and traffic law. Which law is that? 1172A. State law? New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law. Who? State, you have, state Constitution refers to the U.S. Constitution as the supreme law of the land. Is that correct? We're not doing this, sir. If you're not doing it, then I'm not doing it. Okay. I love the passive aggressive window rolling up. 203, did you say you're responding here? They're definitely going to break that, right? Yep. I'm on my way there now. Done for. Calling 911. County, just your advice, this driver's calling 911. Yeah. Niagara County 911, where's your emergency? Oh, look, a charge for misuse of an emergency line. That's a fun one. Yeah, I don't know where it exactly is. What road am We're I on? We're on Rui Road, sir. Do we? We're on Rui Road. Rui? Okay, I'll let you, the officer explain. Right now. Yeah, they call the cops on the cops sometimes. That's always fun. I have a couple police officers. I'm trying to assert my rights under the Constitution. First Amendment separation of church of state, which states clearly in the First Amendment that the freedom of exercise of religion. What? Re he hasn't explained what he even thinks he means by the religion thing. That freedom of exercise, if Congress can't pass a law, then they can't violate the uh, the judicial department can't enforce your state legislature passed laws regarding driver's licenses a long time ago law that's supreme law of the land i'm asserting that with these officers they're pulling me over for a traffic violation which is surprised he isn't asking for a sheriff 50 50 chance he still asks after the 911 call doesn't go well state law and the, on the federal level they Refuse to abide by their oath of office to the Constitution. Now they're acting under the Tenth Amendment, which states clearly to the state or the people, it's not exclusive to the state. So that said, they don't have any authority nor jurisdiction in this matter. Even if I did go through That's a stop asinine. sign, there's nobody that was hurt or injured, which doesn't make it a crime. And since I follow. Just say, hey, would it be so hard to just be like. Yeah, officer, I, I I don't know what happened there. I blew through that stop sign. That was stupid. I'm so sorry. I never do that. I'm not saying you should necessarily do that. You Really, the advice should probably be to shut the fuck up. But, you know, this also isn't a good plan what he's doing right now. This is worse. 
for common law, which is five of the Ten Commandments, no murder, no theft, no coveting, no burying, false witness, and no... Didn't you just say the separation of church and state is foundational to your beliefs and now you're citing the Ten Commandments like they're civic law? Adultery. They are currently committing an insurrection. Well, I don't know if I did or not. That's what they're proclaiming, but state law doesn't supersede federal law. Oh, he's what? arguing with the 911 operator now. Good, good. That's a good use of their time. They're in their I'm sure there's no one on fire or being murdered rules of the Constitution, which in turn would make them insurrectionists. <laughs> oh. Just the fact that he used the word insurrectionist like that tells me how he probably feels about January 6th. I'm assuming he's pro. Now, I have police officers in my family and where have you. Sir, my name is Richard Ewart. Driver's Richard license, York? Ewart. E-W-E-R-T. And just for fun, because I, I don't have any problem with giving them a, my license and wavy, I'm just kind of asserting my rights at the moment. My driver's license number How is... How old is he? At least 35. I don't know more than that. He's kind of at the bottom of the screen. He's hard to see. Need is... Okay. So again, there were... Like, I'm not seeing more than you guys. Like, he's cut off like that for me, too. Er... If you want to have the argument about it being commercial or what have you, because that's what driving is referencing, that's why you would need a license if you're working under commercial, which I technically am at the moment, but nevertheless, the ninth moment still applies. Do you have an emergency? Did he literally, emergency? he literally just admitted that he's in commerce anyway, so even by the sovereign citizen fake rules, he should have a driver's license. That is funny that she's like, do you an emergency? It's been like five minutes. See, as these p cops are violating my constitutional rights okay, and they well, refuse to leave. On the way over to speak with you. You can speak with the lieutenant when you get there. But unfortunately, right now, you're tying up an emergency line for somebody that could be in cardiac arrest or having trouble breathing or having shots. Well, they did try to say that I have to step out of the vehicle and they're trying to demand. Yep. Probably do that then. And things okay. out of me with okay. acting like they have the authority uh, when they're public servants. The the okay? righty. thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Where were you headed to when you were driving down there? Delivering some food. Where are you delivering? Go ahead. I don't know the exact address. Hey, you call for that gentleman, well, you've been doing DoorDash for him. I've been doing Uber and like. Ten four, we heard. Oh my God, he's on a DoorDash order. Holy shit, I'd be so mad that my omelette was getting cold. <laughs> like I said, I don't- Fuck you! You're arguing with the cops? You have my milkshake, you bitch! Get to my house! I don't have any problems with you guys, I'm not a defund the police. Wait, did you- I'm just joking. But seriously, if you have my fucking IHOP, how dare you <laughs> get pulled over? Alright, especially with the Democrats being the way they are, I'm making sure that- I'm Oh my god, he's a- he is! I called it! He's a Trump guy! Driver's license. Anything like that, I'm fully on your side, but when it comes to constitutional rights, especially with the Democrats being the way they are, I'm making sure that I'm asserting my rights. Do you have that run Especially the Democrats being the way they are. The fuck are you talking about? Democrats didn't invent driver's licenses. On you, sir? No, it's actually at home. I guess my thing is, is, is you don't either don't believe me that you ran directly through a stop sign, or I, you didn't stop at all. You went directly through a stop sign and are speeding. Well, I wouldn't say I was speeding. I wouldn't know that. But again, the stop sign, to me, I'm not, I didn't see the stop sign. So if I did, it's because I didn't see it. That's fine. And we could so, have gone a whole different route over this. Other than exactly, and right. I just wanted to ask you questions, but and I needed to refuse you to answer. Ask me questions. It is I was my super job. Cordial to you, I came up to you. All it I doesn't said is make I need a difference. Your driver's license. Again, you're the public servant, right? Correct. But so no if I ask you a question, if you wanted to keep it cordial and everything, you would right. have answered the question. Right, but you're not even identifying who you were to me. I don't have to. You do though, because no, you're I driving don't. on a New York State roadway. You need to Ninth produce. Ninth Amendment. Sir? It has nothing to do right with to that. travel. You can speak with my supervisor. Okay. New York State law, this is a traffic stop.
down aren't basically all soft since Trump guys, like how most of them are men. Not necessarily. There are some that are anti-government to the point that they don't even think there should be a federal government or think that the presidency is like a bullshit office. So it depends. A lot of them are Trump people, don't get me wrong. I would say a higher proportion are Trump people than are Democrats. Um, but there are some that are more... anarcho-libertarian types, anarcho-capitalist types. Captain Squid says, oh, he's a jack-off, of course. JAQ isn't just asking questions. Identify yourself, or you're going to be arrested for obstruction in a misdemeanor. Sounds like the supervisor that you've demanded. In my experience, there's more men than women in sovereign citizenry. It isn't messing around. About 50-50 in Moorish citizenry. Oddly enough. Yes. Yes. Okay. She was pressing the fast forward button. <laughs> it's time to get out of the car and identify yourself. So if you go and stop playing on do the what you're doing, you don't you control know, the stream, I do. Most of the sob set letters you get at the bank are women. Okay, fair enough. It might be a selection bias thing. Maybe the ones most likely to film themselves are just more likely men. I'm a vehicle and traffic law. You have to identify yourself. It's basic when you're 16 years old to get your license. Mm -hmm. I'm Lieutenant Swift, and it's 203. You're going to identify yourself to these officers right now. Why are you not identifying yourself? I already did, actually, on the 911 call. I gave my uh, driver's license number and everything. But as far as that's concerned, yeah, again, you have... You know what? That's actually fair, too, because when I actually see sovereign citizen groups, like, I are not even, not like actual in my life but like when i see them in groups i think you're right because if you look at like Catispinda's group that she hangs out with it is roughly 50 50 like if we look at the group she hung out with here when her house was getting auctioned off i don't know how much you can actually see is that are but basically like, it does tend to be a more mixed group men and women that's biden there we go. There's the group. This is her and Sovereign Citizen friends that she had. And it's, it's mixed, so... Yeah. I'm probably just biased because I, I look at people who film themselves doing this. And for whatever reason, more men tend to film themselves doing this. Again, in my experience. The Constitution, are you going to allow me to speak? I'll clarify this for you. Yep. Are you going to identify? Benikagami says, and cap, so most are Trump guys, and a lot of them just don't vote because of their weird government opinions. It really depends. I know what you're saying broadly, and caps, maybe, but the kind of and cap that is a sovereign citizen is not as pro Trump as you would think. There are a lot of pro Trump ones. I'm not saying there aren't. I just want you to be clear that there are plenty that are not and would be like, confused that you think they're pro-Trump. Don't paint with too broad a brush, I guess is what I'm trying to say. There is a variety of opinion and belief under this umbrella. Are you going to allow me to clarify yes. everything? Yes. So I already did on 911 call. I actually gave you, did you happen to take notice of the driver's license number that I gave? They get ran it. Well, we wouldn't be able to do that because we're having a conversation while okay. you're giving that so either dispatch. Either way, right, we have all through the Constitution. Now, keep in mind, I don't need anybody. I've, again, as I iterated to them, my uncle was first sergeant military. My cousin is uh, works in as police over in my county, Jensen County. Right. So I have no problems with the police. What I'm doing right now is I'm asserting my rights, nice. making sure you're abiding by your oath to that Constitution. Why is that important to this? Hi, honey. Because what I'm saying to you right now, because as much as you're trying to come at me, keep in mind I have the full legal right to remove Joe Biden from his office right now with the same content. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> Did you hear that? What I'm saying to you right now, because as much as you're trying to come at me, keep in mind I have the full legal right to remove Joe Biden from his office right now with the same okay. content. Are you okay? <laughs> That's, you know, I think that's probably the right question, given the circumstances. Are you okay? He's not. He's not okay. Are you, know, you okay? Do you, do you know what year it is? Even the super... Do you know what year it is? Oh, they think he has Wait, head you know damage. Officers should just pull him out of the vehicle already and arrest him. Do you know what year it is? Do you know what year it is? Okay. 
let me clarify this for you because you want to have this kind of argument. Are you for playing December through the 12th month? Of the year? Yes. Even though the word itself state literally means one month? Sir, I don't know if this is a mental health issue. I don't know if this is a mental health issue. I want to help people too. Is this a mental health issue or are you yeah, That you sounds like you do have one. Is this a mental... You can't... I understand. I understand that... that okay. I understand these cops probably used intelligence as a dump stat. But if someone is having like a mental health breakdown, you can't just ask, Are you having a mental health crisis? Because if they are, they probably don't think they are. Just putting it out there. As someone who's had some mental health crises of my own, you're not usually in the clearest state of mind when those are happening, just for the record. <laughs> Ugh. Because if you proclaim the summer to be the 12th month when it literally means it's done, Means you're probably okay. not in your right identify mind. Identify yourself to these police officers, please. Right now, identify yourself to these police officers. So, are you doing an insurrection against people? At the you're moment? you're about to be again. The usage of insurrection constantly to try and deflect from January sixth stuff is so funny. Remove from this vehicle. Shut the car off. Shut the car off. Shut right. the car off. Let's go, right? Ready? Right. Oh, they didn't end up smashing the window. That's nice. Shut the car off. Just shut it off right now. Come on. Shut it off. Get out of the car. Step up. Oh, he's literally like trying to make himself bigger and rigid so they can't get him out of the car. <laughs> Kicking and screaming till the end. Benakagami says, I understand what you're saying and it's fair. Heck, a lot of Christians don't understand why queer people think Christians are anti-queer, mostly because Christians underestimate the variety of Christian beliefs that exist. However, I would counter a lot of fascists are confused why you would call them fascists. I guess. I'm just trying to illustrate that you shouldn't pick one stereotypical identity to apply to all sovereign citizens and assume that the average can apply to individuals within the data set. It's fine to look at it and say, largely, here are clusters of beliefs and behaviors that exist within this definition, but never assume that the average of those things is the truth of individuals within that data set. God, I just talk out of my ass constantly, don't I? Like, all that meant something, don't get me wrong, but like, who cares? What am I even doing? <laughs> <laughs> On your stomach. Oh, stomach. Oh, now you just committed right assault. On your stomach right now. I'm here. Now good. you just committed assault. Relax your arm. Relax your arm. I am fully. Relax your arm. Hope he also gets a uh, competency evaluation. He'd probably pass it, but still, couldn't hurt. Hmm. This is a five-hour seminar on Sovereign Citizen stuff, I found. Just gonna save that real quick. I knew we weren't gonna watch that today, but still, couldn't have hurt. Do we want to go back to the guy with the weird chair? That was the end? Yeah, he just gets arrested. Totally. So, so that's what's happening now. Yeah. I, I, I believe gas prices are high. Biden's in place for a reason. He's in place to, for a reason to destroy this economy. And when the economy drops dramatically, then we have a chance for a complete reset. These and are, economy if you missed the beginning of the stream, we watched some of these guys. They are sovereign citizens that are also QAnon believers. He will stabilize overnight. Hmm. Do you think so, do you think that he's basically in place, controlled by the White Hats, whether he's a clone or a robot, nobody really knows, but there's definitely some anomalies that you cannot Do we not know? Does no one know if Joe Biden is a clone? This count and sweep Because I have an inkling that the answer is no. Under the rug and make believe that they don't exist. Is QAnon still a thing? It's not as big as it used to be. A lot of the QAnon beliefs have just become mainstream Republican beliefs, unfortunately. Um, but QAnon itself is a lot less big than it used to be. This, 
uh is is it a possible i'm 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 wondering if as the year goes on and we get closer to the election if it's gonna heat back up but i don't know i feel more like general republican conspiracies as opposed to strictly QAnon, will take center stage possibility that he's in place being controlled by the white hats so that we can wake up the normies and get to that 18 dollars box of eggs that i always talk about so that they can snap out of their their media induced comas well, yes, uh, they all are in media. Everyone who doesn't agree with you is brainwashed. Remember that. No one has any other valid reasons to disagree with you. They're always brainwashed. Induce comas. Uh, and, and you know what Plato said. You're in a cave and everyone's lying to everyone but you. Fenikagami says it's important to remind people of the nuance and humanity of our political opponents. Far too many leftists fall into the trap of painting with too broad a brush. They forget their grounding and sometimes forget conservatives, for example, are people. Bad people, maybe, but still people. I would tend to agree. Hydrate. And education-induced comas. You know, they went through our... These kids and their damned education? Kindergarten through 12th grade, you know, and into our liberal colleges. And so they're all in comas, no matter how intelligent they are, or what degree they have. And uh, yeah, I do believe uh, that they're there for a reason. It's part of God's plan. Whether it's White House or not, it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's not an issue, I don't believe. I, I believe it's part of, part of God's plan in order to wake up everyone. We're in the middle of the Great Awakening now. And uh, people, people have to snap up to the realization that everything that they've been taught, everything that they see is a lie. Everything. Absolutely. So which Biden are we on anyway? Our, yeah. Our fourth one. <laughs> Facial recognition <laughs> software, <laughs> DNA testing. Yeah, yeah, maybe our fifth one. Who knows? Absolutely. No, yeah. I believe it's our fourth from facial recognition. That's what I don't get. Like... Do they just think they keep making faulty clones or are the clones getting assassinated? What do they think's happening to all the Bidens? Hats off, Phoenix leftist. Tell me, what would you like me to wear? Recognition software and digital testing, uh, you know, of DNA testing. It, it's Biden's not Biden. And, and the flower crown can do. The real issue is this do, do the American people even know? what the name of the current corporation is that Biden is serving. It's not the United States. The United States Corp was bankrupted. It's out of business. It's the White House Office, Inc. And Joe R. Biden is the agent of service. It's listed on Dun & Bradstreet number with tens of thousands of subsidiary corporations underneath it. So You're that's the name the of your new, your, your liberals' new country is the White House office scene. That's your country, and you need to wake up and realize that. That's the corporation you're serving as. So this comes up a lot with sovereign citizens. They don't understand that federal corporations are a thing. So a federal corporation is um, an organization that's owned by the federal government, but its structure is similar to that of a private business. For instance, um... The FDIC, the federal, uh, the federal deposit insurance company, that's the uh, federal company that ensures that if your bank went bankrupt or something, all of the uh, accounts are insured up to uh, one or two hundred thousand dollars. I don't remember what it is currently, but there are federal corporations. That doesn't mean that the government is a corporation. It means that for bureaucratic purposes, many government-like things are filed or classified as corporations, but government corporations are their own thing. They're not the same as a private corporation. As government, they passed an executive order that they don't even have to register with Dun & Bradstreet anymore, even though they are registered. Uh, so, you know, they're they're getting away from... from uh, are, or trying to hide themselves more every single day. When in reality, if you look up the United States of America on Dun & Bradstreet, it's listed at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, and Donald J. Trump is listed as the agent of service. He is still our president. <laughs> He's basically a president in exile, but he runs the military, and this is a, 
got a Peter should hang out with these guys. They believe a lot of the same stuff. A lot to do with that. Well, he's not, he's not exiled. He's the 19th president of the United States of America. Right. He, he okay. never gave up that position. Well, so he's never conceded. Don't understand a, a Benekagami says, since we're on the QAnon and they love Sleepy Joe insults, have you heard how Trump's been spending the past two days of his first criminal trial sleepy in court? He's also been so lazy, he waived his own rights to approach the bench personally. <laughs> That's funny. Well, when a president takes office, he takes office in multiple positions of multiple entities. He's the commander-in-chief of the military. He's president of the United States of America, and he's CEO of the United States Corporation, which right now is called the White House Office Inc. Sorry, Toriador. Uh, Toriador said, white supremacist Santa, good value brand Andrew Tate, an aged out military guy that uses his wife's scrapbooking machine to make iron on stuff for t-shirts and hats. <laughs> What are these guys going to say if and when the courts toughen up and actually arrest Trump? Uh, insurrection. Military coup. Get up on down to breast. That's what they're going to say. Treat for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Absolutely. Right. I'm sure a lot of people research. I'm sure a lot of people are going to go to down to Brad Street and do their research probably as soon as they see the video. Do your research. Um, let's get back this to... The, um, this is why... Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, let's get back to the lobster real no, quick. I don't think Trump will uh, you saw the documentary from Bonfire Guy, which is an hour and 44 minutes long, where Trump travels around the entire world and is meeting with corporation leaders, uh, leaders of countries, et cetera, putting piles of files of, of uh, you know, two feet tall of, of stuff that they got them basically by the round ones, okay, saying, listen, we got you doing X, Y, and Z. Uh, you got to capitulate. You got to throw everything into the lobster. There's a couple of buses waiting outside. There's heavily armed guards. You're going down to the spa down by Castro territory. Is that pretty much accurate in your opinion? That's how the lobster was formed. Well, here's the thing. We got, uh, we got Guantanamo Bay. We've got Guam and we've got Terra del Fuge. And, uh, call them Guam 2.0 and 3.0. So there's multiple places, okay, that they, that everybody who's a criminal in the world is going to know the lobster up. thing they're referencing. Yes, I'm normally pretty good at keeping on top of conspiratorial jargon. I have not heard this lobster thing, so I can't speak to it. They won't be able to hide. Nobody so gets away with How is Bebby, I mean lobster formed? Yes. Nobody walks away from this. Well, they need to, they have the opportunity to repent. Okay. And come to the light, right? It's like Star Wars. Come out of the dark and into the light. It's like Star right. Wars. You are like 60 years old. Do you not have any frame of reference for anything outside of a movie you saw when you were 23? The irony of the statement I just made is not lost on me. I am aware that I am a hypocrite. Okay, but let's say I'm a police officer who's basically, you know, I got a family to feed. You should learn your personal life beliefs from Star Trek like me instead of Star Wars like a dork. I'm a dumbass. I don't know how to do anything else. And I'm harassing little old ladies for not wearing a face diaper who are walking their dogs. And I'm harassing people who are trying to eat a meal at a restaurant. Uh, a succulent Chinese meal? repent star wars they're talking about how anakin in the end turned back to the light and killed the emperor except for the fact that he didn't really because somehow palpatine returned but in the moment it was redemption i guess uh and i was anakin's force ghost pissed like he killed the emperor and then presumably you know he's force ghosting hayden christensen with ghost yoda was ghost yoda like by the way the emperor's still alive he has like a clone or something and in like 30 years his granddaughter is gonna help defeat him and then vader had to be like what the fuck why did i kill myself he's still not dead somehow he returned someone's done this bit before someone's done this bit i'm beating people up with a spoilers it's star wars no one cares billy club for no reason because 
my superiors said to do so because there's something called the New World Order. Okay, are these people going to be held accountable? Yes or no? Uh, yes, they are going to be held accountable. In fact, if, if we the people don't do it right now, immediately, we're pretty stupid. Because, uh, you know, all of our police forces in this nation have been under the control. Also, the end of Sky uh, Rise of Skywalker was ripped off from Captain EO. I haven't seen Captain EO. Control the United Nations for many, many decades. Uh, we signed a United Nations Treaty in, in 1945. We signed the Bar Association Treaty in 1947. This nation was captured by the bar. I see you're flying two war flags behind your head. Uh, uh, you ought to be flying a peace flag. Because Again, there's that belief that they think there's a separate flag. Nope, not a thing. Because uh, this nation should be at peace. New it's, world order. It's, Is the world on HRT? Because that'll happen. Uh, oh, I'm familiar with what Captain EO was. I just haven't seen it. The, the Believe me, I'm into theme parks and weird vintage media. I'm a familiar with Captain EO. I've just never seen it. Gold fringe flag shows a captured flag. And if you look George at every Lucas courtroom in the United in the States, it's been captured. All courts in every state is an administrative court under the administrative branch of government, not under the judicial branch of government. So therefore, these police officers are going out. They're creating causes of action. Their cause of action creates a case number. The case number creates a CUSUP number. The CUSUP number creates a bond in the amount that they want to profit from you. Those bonds are sold through their ISLING number, their International Securities Licensing number, out the back doors of the courthouse into the bond market on Wall Street. And that's how government is funded. Mm -hmm. They're funded when you walk into a DMV and get a driver's license. Your driver's license number is a CUSUP. It is bonded. That bond. They just keep going on. Through their Iceland numbers and these judges. Oh my God, they have a Medbeds video on this channel too. You watched Captain EO as a kid? When I was there, because that played at Epcot, I guess I, I was at Disney World, not Disneyland. But in Disney World, that played at Epcot, and by the time I was there, it was the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids experience. So they had already gotten rid of Captain EO at the time because all the Michael Jackson stuff had come out at the time. So why did it do that? I didn't want that to happen. Tesla Space Force Med Beds. Those are words, and you, I guess, can put them in that order. Not a real thing, but cool. By the way, it's National Bat Day, so appreciate our winged mammalian friends today. allowed to put words in any order not necessarily there are words you can't put in specific orders for instance the words uh murder assault rifle bullets president of the united states clock tower these words in a specific order would get you in a lot of trouble so be careful Yeah, that was a Trevor Moore bit. Med Basically dead. stole a joke from a dead man. Quantum. Shame on me. Healing technology. He was great, though. A message from the Intergalactic Alliance of Light Beings. Oh, hell yeah, the Intergalactic Alliance of Light Beings. They're cool. Brought to you by WhatComesNextForYou.com This message has been channeled for you by Canadian psychic medium, Tracy Mill. Greetings, dear Earth Star Angel. I am Chimera. In today's transmission, we wish to tell you about one of the first technologies 
that will be released to the world's population with the announcement of Nisera and Gesera. If you're not sure of these terms, we recommend you watch our video on this first. Along with new free energy systems supplied by the Tesla coils and new anti-gravity and replicator devices, you will also be receiving brand new holographic medical beds or so interplanetary space communism med beds. These new med beds will come with some very unique features including diagnostic support, surgical repair, and cellular and DNA reconstruction and rejuvenation. In short, they will become an integral part of your health care and health maintenance, changing everything within. I'm going to do a D&D campaign someday, and it's just going to be in a setting that's like the real world, except for every single conspiracy theory is true. That'll be good. Your healthcare industry, as you know it. These med beds, when used in conjunction with trained medical supervision and automated medical stations, will provide you with a variety of options and methods to return your physical vessel to optimal good health. These beds represent a quantum leap in the business of healthcare. How I handle conflicting conspiracy theories? There would always be an explanation that the previous conflicting conspiracy theories were part of the current conspiracy theory that is real until it conflicts with one in the future that will always supersede the previous one. All over your beautiful- There is no truth. There's only further, bigger conspiracies to find. Dibs on being a cleric of Paul. Good choice. It is basically SCP. Stone Corbell says, have you heard of the MMO, The Secret World? It was kind of like that. I haven't. Sounds cool. Beautiful world, for there are currently enough of these Hydrate. beds to begin rollout in every country that wants them. Just imagine a healthcare package with no chemotherapy, toxic chemicals, radiation, organ removal, or having to live long term with scars, disease, and dysfunction. Just if you magic, think, it just magics you good. All of this sounds too good to be true or something out of a sci-fi movie. We understand your reservations. However, we would- It does sound out of a sci-fi movie. My reference is all of my sci-fi movies. Ask you to remember that hiding in plain sight is one of the deep state and secret space program's favorite tactics. Is it? For a very long time, the deep state has been showing you Technology beyond your wildest dream. Yeah, I haven't looked into BitBoy Crypto in a while. I haven't looked into crypto in general because it hasn't been interesting. Basically, it's just been Tether pumping the price. In your movies, like The Avengers and The Kingsman. Just because you think you're watching fantasy is on you as far as the Dark Ones are concerned. Esoteric fictionalism. As far as they know, they have been showing you the truth. You just haven't been asking the right questions or demanding the right answers. It's dark ones, evil people, black hats, they, them, parentheses, parentheses, parentheses. It's whoever the evil people are in the mind of the conspiracy theorist. The nasty trick. It is often rooted in anti Semitism, but not always. Sometimes they just think it's evil aliens or lizards or something. Perpetrated. Often it's anti-Semitic. ...on you. And it's one of the dynamics that is about to change in a dramatic way with the announcement of Nasera and Gesera, as these new technologies will be released as a part of that exciting and life-enhancing package. Now, on to the details of these quantum therapy med beds, which come in three different varieties holding three unique functions and fortes that are currently available for Rolla. Number one, the holographic med bed is a diagnostic and treatment bed. Number two, the regeneration bed works in concert with your DNA and stem cells to regenerate 
old tissue or works in concert with your DNA missing organs. And bed number three is a regression and rejuvenation bed. These help to rejuvenate your cells, offering age regression therapy, as well as therapy that helps you to suppress unwanted memory. Oh, as that hurts when you know they're trying to target people with trauma. Gitara says, I'm like 80% sure the lightworker stuff is anti-Semitic, considering their overt racism towards reptilians. I've heard them call reptilians reps with the same vitriol you'd expect of someone saying a racial slur. It depends. There are a lot of people who use reptilians as a dog whistle for anti-Semitic stuff. Not everyone does, but like, it's not an unreasonable assumption to make. As you may have already guessed, these technologies did not originate on Earth having been given to your secret space agencies for the benefit of humanity. Phyllis Filler says, My DNA is a piccolo quartet. It doesn't even work in concert with itself. Humanity. It was an unfortunate choice that those in charge of making moral decisions decided to keep this technology to themselves. We are pleased to confirm that this error is now being rectified and the right people are now working behind the scenes to ensure the rollout of these technologies to the public at large. All three beds work on a quantum level using vibrations and frequencies with a com vibrations and frequencies combination of 3D scanners and refracting lenses. As Ooh, refracting lenses. That's the best kind. As well as surgically precise lasers for both gesturing verbally in the general direction of jargon. Both opening frequencies of what? Energy! What didn't you hear? And closing wounds. They also have a multitude of diagnostic and monitoring technologies that keep the practitioner fully informed throughout both diagnostic and repair sessions. Utilizing tachon particle and plasma energy. I assume that's tachyon, but the <laughs> voice to speech couldn't say tachyon. It's another good uh, uh, techno babble word. Tachyon. Each bird says, health via vibrations and frequencies, you say. Ladies, when you put on that sleeveless dress, what's what the first this? thing that's... Why can't I hear it? Sticks out. There it is. Ladies, when you put on that sleeveless dress, what's the first thing that sticks out? Our... My dick. Our arms are... Sorry. The problem area that we never seem to be able to find the solution for until now with the shake weight. Shake weight is the you can't set me up like that. Flab busting breakthrough that trims your arms and shapes your shoulders at the same time. <laughs> the back of my arm, definitely in the tricep area. Oh my gosh, I can feel the definition already. That's a real workout. You just shake it back and forth. There's no motor, no batteries, and you get the results you want. In a matter of seconds, you feel it really working your muscles. My arms feel worked. It, it's definitely a good workout. I'm feeling it in my chest and my biceps and my triceps. Inside the shake weight are dual moving weights called dynamic inertia that simultaneously target and engage your biceps and triceps. It's the power of 240 muscle contractions per minute. In fact, if you had the shake weight in your hands right now, you'd feel the results before the end of this commercial. I'm sure I would. Now you can wear the dress styles you want, the chic blouses that show off your arms, even those cute t-shirts that make casual look just a little sexy. Jesus Christ. This machine works with the human vessel for maximum repair with minimal invasion. All three med beds work with similar technologies. They've just been adapted for three different uses and treatments. Why can't they all be in one device then? That doesn't make sense. Bed number one, the holographic med bed. These beds can perform live scans of the body for diagnosis, as well as treat any illnesses with Ow. much greater accuracy in far less time and with far less invasion. 
to the human vessel. These met beds will scan every part of your body for diagnosis and interpretation, including your skin, muscles, bones, organs, glands, neurological, and hormonal efficiency. It can also perform a blood analysis and a DNA analysis, which looks can it do bottom surgery? for That's and is able to time. correct any hereditary markers. Okay, enough of the stupid med bed stuff. Lots of sovereign citizen conspiracy stuff today. This channel is interesting. A lot of this was from this Man, same channel. There's so much stuff that I, I've got so many questions. This channel called Sovereign National. So I'm sure we'll look at them in the future. They have a lot of interesting sovereign citizen conspiracy stuff. Very, very strange. Their most recent video is the planned collapse in World War III. <laughs> so, it's interesting. So thanks everyone for hanging out. Let's see who we're going to raid on Twitch. I will be back tomorrow again at around 5 p.m. Eastern to do VHS Vault. Thursday is VHS Vault. So, cool beans. Love you too, Mr. Blanius. We have Logan raided recently. <laughs> Raid back. All right. Have a great night, everyone. If you're on YouTube, do me a favor and uh, like the stream on YouTube. Does that mean Twitch only tomorrow? I'm going to try and do YouTube as well, actually. We'll see what happens. I'm going to be hopefully using that new computer tomorrow. So we're going to give it a shot on both YouTube and Twitch. Have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye.